For over 45 years, the families of Vaughn RV Center and Tiffin Motorhomes have partnered to bring you the best the RV world has to offer. From humble beginnings, Danny Vaughn and his family grew their small RV company into the national staple you know today. And there was no better RV manufacturer to grow with than Tiffin Motorhomes. Danny Vaught began by selling truck campers next door to his dad's boat shop in Haltom City, Texas in the late 1960s. Although just a teenager, he used his father's philosophy of, you can't be right by doing wrong, and you can't be wrong by doing right, a philosophy that still holds true today. Around the same time, a young man named Bob Tiffin took over the reins of his family's company that eventually became Tiffin Motorhomes. Mr. Tiffin's motorhome company quickly became synonymous with high quality and customer service. When Danny set out to find a motorhome to add to his small dealership, Bob's motorhomes were a perfect fit and a lifelong friendship was born. Even today, the two family-owned and family-operated businesses continue to offer value based on values. Combining luxury and the spirit of adventure, Tiffin Motorhomes has continually been one of the top-selling motorhomes, not just at Vaught RV, but in the country. With Tiffin's excellence in quality and Vaught's commitment to customer service, you will be hard-pressed to find a stronger partnership in the RV industry. So let us celebrate 45 years of excellence, and here's to many more. Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Miller and I, I am here to welcome you to Vaught RV and Tiffin Motorhomes first virtual rally, celebrating our 45 year history together. Usually at a rally we invite our Tiffin owners out to the dealership, we have them stay in their motorhomes, we have some great food, we play games, and we take that opportunity to show them what the new 2021 models have to offer. For obvious reasons we can't do that this year, but we still wanted to be able to show you the latest and greatest that Tiffin has to offer. We're also going to have some awesome presentations on those, those must-have camping accessories, as well as a couple of great giveaways. Guys, these are brand new, fresh pieces of inventory. Some of them have only been here a couple of days. And you know in today's environment, it's really hard to see a lot of motorhomes at one time. We've got six models. We've got 10 floor plans. And I can't wait for us to get started. If you see something today you fall in love with, we have factory-trained salespeople standing by to answer your questions and make that Tiffin dream a reality. Just give us a call, 817-831-1800. You can also visit us at vaudrv.com. As a special, every motorhome that's sold through the rally, we're going to give you a $500 parts and service gift certificate. When you pick up that new motorhome, we're going to give you $500 to spend towards our parts and service department, however you like. So guys, let's get things started. We're going to start off with the small, nimble Wayfarer and our special guest, Trent Tiffin. Hey everybody, I'm Trent Tiffin with Tiffin Motor Homes and our Wayfair division. And today we're going to go over our 2021 RW and look at all the changes we've made. Um, I know it's been a crazy year, so it's hard to get the units out there due to COVID and everything. But we have a lot of great things to show you for 2021. One of the first things that we did was we redid our front cap. It used to be a lot more bulky, but we slimmed it down a little bit. It's still all one piece, which is nice because you don't have any seams in the legs of the cap, so you're not gonna have as many leaks. We still kept our 16 foot awning from Gerard. It does have LED built in lights and it does have speakers built in. So, you know, you can turn the house radio on, listen to it outside or, you know, sit out underneath it and watch the game on the outside TV. One of the big changes we made for 2021 is our new entry door. With COVID, it took a little bit to get them from Italy, but it's a metal Arte door real flush with the coach, real smooth, you know, you don't have a lot of trim on it. I really like this door. It's got, you know, a little trash can holder, a little cubby storage. You also have a big shade here as well. Um, you also have another screen. So if it's a nice day like it is today here in Alabama, you know, you can sit outside, bugs won't get in, and you can enjoy a nice fresh breeze. One of the things that we still offer is our outside TV. It's a 32 inch LG smart TV. So if you have internet, you could hook it up to Netflix or in satellite and watch the game or something. It does come on a swivel arm so you can turn it however you need to. One of my favorite things that we got to do for 2021, which is a big selling point for our Wayfarers, our compartment doors. So 
you know, you don't have to bend down to get to anything. You know, a lot of people, they have theirs come up or ours is open to the side. But for 21, we added a little latch in here. So you just pull this strap up and it'll open up like a French door, saloon door, however you want to do it. So in the compartment bay, we have our Xantrex 2000 watt inverter. We also have our Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner and we do put a 110 Allen in there as well. So if you need to hook anything up outside, but again, super easy to get to the stores. You don't have to bend down or crawl up under anything. It's going to make it a lot easier on you. We do use the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. It's their top rated model. Um, works really well. You know, hardly use any LP. You're always going to have plenty of hot water. It's never going to run out on you. We did add a water fill to the coach. Used to be, it was on the hitch. Now it's on the side, so everything will just dump right down. So you don't have to crawl up under the hitch or anything like that to fill up your water tank from outside. We have a 12 gallon LP tank. And we also do have our quick connect hose. It has a few more attachments, but if you have a little gas grill you wanna hook up, super easy, easy to get to. Then this uh, compartment here, this is your freshwater tank. When I get to show you the inside, some of the changes we've made, you'll understand, but we've moved all of our tanks around and the whole underbelly of the coach to get a lot more stuff. But now I'm gonna show you the driver's side real quick. So now on the driver's side of the coach, we did change up a few you know, locations of where we put our storage and do our water bay and everything. Used to, it was a really tight back in here for the water bay and the shore power, but our black tank actually sits here now. So you got the fresh water on the passenger side, black tank on the driver with the grays in the middle behind the hitch. But the way we did it though, we were able to move everything up and, and what I like is we got a new sewer hose storage compartment. Um, also, when you dump, it's really easy. We have our black tank. You just pull the black lever. The gray is right behind it. You know, dump the black, pull the gray, dump it. You know, flush out the, all that hose. You know, we also have our water filter here. And then we have our water hookup for city or dry camping. And above it is a sandy flush fill for your black tank. So you just hook your water hose up and dump all that out. You do have your cable tripod hookups in here as well. Um, all the extra hoses for the little, little shower we have, also for winterizing hoses as well. But then, going up here on the front, what I really like is this compartment got a lot bigger. Again, we have it to where this will open all as well. So we have our 30 amp shore power cord always attached, but you still have plenty of room in here, you know, golf clubs, lawn chairs, anything like that. You still have a big compartment bay because storage is, you know, very limited on Class C motor homes. And then in the front, we put our standard diesel generator here. We're one of the only manufacturers to do a diesel generator standard. You know, we just believe it's a lot easier to find diesel. It's just gonna run a lot longer than the LP would. And then two, one thing for 21, we did a standard slide topper across the slide out. And now two, talking about the paint, this is one of our new paint jobs, it's called Perdido. You know, the light tan, little gray and the blue. One thing that we do, we also do full body paint standard where a lot of people don't. Uh, we do three coats of each color and three coats of clear coat. I think we have one of the best paint jobs in the industry. We do have three paint jobs with all the big stripes, Sea Mist, Perdido, and Conquest. But we also have the simple lines where it's just, you know, straight line all the way across three colors, Harmony, Regal Blue, and Pebble Creek. They're looking really good this year too as well. You know, some new colors, finally changed them up. But full body paint is standard, so that's the big thing for us. So coming inside the coach for the 2021 RW, one of the first things you're going to see is the Bigfoot leveling jacks. That is a standard option for 2021s. Um, people just love the leveling jacks. You know, the stabilizer still had a little bit of rock in it, but people like the four jacks on the ground, you know, pick the coach up, have it set instead of, you know, doing leveling blocks, you know, just make it all easier, you know, just turn the power on. It'll go through its cycle and then you just hit auto level and then you're ready to go. Here is your spider panel. This is kind of like another master switch. You have your awning and then cargo entry, turn on your lights, you know, your battery on off switch and your step on off switch. We do have an all battery disconnect switch down here instead of taking it out from underneath the steps. We did add a big grab handle coming in the coach. So it's gonna make it a lot easier getting out. 
So here's your master panel for the spider switch. It's all touchscreen LED light. It's gonna read all your tank sensors, fresh gray, black, and your propane. It's also gonna tell your battery voltage level. And you turn your water pump on. We also have our heat pad on off button here to keep your tanks warm in the winter and everything. And then we also can go here and this will be for all of our lights. So this is on the living area side. So we turn our lights on and then we hit the bed bath. Now we've got the whole coach lighted. One of the cool things about this is if you see the up down button on one of the lights, you just, all you have to do is just hold it down and then you can start dimming everything. Now, before we put the slide out, a lot of people always ask me on the phone, you know, how much room do I have in the coach? This is with the RW slide all the way in. So I still have plenty of room to get to the bathroom because, you know, when you have your slide out in, you have to be able to get to the bathroom. And this gives you a good look of how open it still is and easy to get to the bath area. But now let's go ahead and put the slide out out. So what's new for 2021, which we changed up, you know, the kitchen area, the bed area, and the bathroom. So this is what we're gonna start doing now. We used to have our microwave down low, but we moved it to above the refrigerator. So we were able to get a nice countertop extension as long as it's the grab handle on the side. So those are kind of the, some of the new changes. In moving the microwave, I was able to get more drawers. So now we have a silverware drawer, you know, a big drawer for storage, we also got us a new LP cooktop, it's all gas, but it's a little bit bigger than the old one that comes from Dometic. One thing I really like about our new galley is we used to have our outlets up here, but like our class A's, we were able to get all these. So you got two plugs and you also have USBs built in. And then, you know, we use all Corian countertop, solid surface. And we also have a really big bowl sink. You know, you get a lot of stuff in there. Now, with our new entry door, our old door that we still did on some 21s because they weren't in from Italy yet, the TV used to be here. Well, this metal arte door got about four inches taller, so the TV physically could not fit in this area, so we had to move it here. Now, you lost a little cabinet space, but the TV does pull out. You have all your hookups and everything from back here, and you still have plenty of stores. Store whatever you need. And it's on a bulldog catch, so easy to open, easy to close. And then we still have one big cabinet up here. You can put anything you want up there. And then down below the sink, we have tons of storage, lots of storage. And two, we also hide our vacuum cleaner down here on this side of the storage. Our standard refrigerator is a compressor 12 volt refrigerator now. We still have the optional gas electric fridge. So if you see a unit with the new style cabinetry, so the flat door to the shaker style, this is a gas electric fridge. So all the boondockers, you know, you can run the coach on the road going out inverter, and then, you know, at night, put it on LP, or the compressor fridge is going to run off the house batteries. Now, if you are trying to boondock and you're going between, a lot of people do ask, how do I boondock with the compressor fridge? It does have a night mode button that will not draw down your batteries through the night, but it'll still keep everything cool inside the refrigerator. Whereas this, you know, during the night, you know, hooked up with power or anything, you can always just swap it to gas, run the gas at night, and then during the day, run it off the inverter. So you'll still have plenty of battery power. But we were able to move our microwave up. A lot of people didn't really like it down low. So up to right here is about 5'3", in case anyone's a little short. You can still get to it very easy. You know, the top of the microwave is about 6'2". So easy in, easy out. So for our 2021 RW, the dinette booth is our standard living area. Um, for that, we did, we were able to add a drawer underneath here, which there's still a little storage on the back if you just lift up the cushions. All of our units, whatever comes in the living area, dinette, sofa, or theater seats, we do have two seat belts. The seat belts will be on this side of the dinette. You don't want the seat belts here because if you break too hard, you know, you could bang your head or something. Also, we still have plenty of 110 outlets, all with USBs. They do have a child protection on it, so if they're a little tough to get in, that is why. But you still have plenty of storage up top. We also have our reading lights that are all separate from everything, so you just give a little touch, they'll get the blue light, and then, but they're all separate, so you can need a little night light or something. 
Now the Dyna is the standard option, but the most popular option is our theater seats. 68 inch theater seats, you have the cup holders in the middle. They are electric, so you can put your feet up as much as you want, or if you almost want to lay flat, you can. And we'll have a pedestal table that goes in the front, which we also have a table that will go here between the driver passenger chairs, a smaller little table, drinks and whatnot. So for 2021, one of the biggest things we did in the RW is we redid our bed to all electric rather than manual. It's super easy to use, so you just have to take off your cushions. Lay that right there. Bring up your legs. And then the uh, up, down, up down switch is just right here. So just put it, press it down. It all comes down very easy. And there you go, now you have your bed. And one of the nice things about this bed is the mattress fits in this box. So you can keep your sheets on, or if you wanna put like a you know mattress topper or something on, you can. And when you put your bed up, everything's made up. You know, might just have to move your pillows a little bit, but I still have plenty of walk around space with the bed down. You know, even on this side where it seems a little bit tighter, I'm not a little guy, but I can still get around pretty easy to get to the bathroom. We did add all cabinets up here. So if you need to store sheets or anything or a CPAP machine, you know, it's about eight inches deep. On the right side of the bed, we do have a 110 outlet and our USBs. So if you have a CPAP, you can plug it up right there and drop it all down. But works out well and you still have, you know, separate reading lights there. You do have storage underneath here for your booster cushions or your tabletops or whatever you need to store away really easy. And then just put your cushions back on and the bed is made and you got plenty of living space again. And one thing I love about how we do our RW is a lot of people like to do the countertop all the way back here. You know, you do get a bigger refrigerator that way, but you lose a little bit of storage. So we still have a good size kitchen, but we have a nice TV area. And then, you know, you got a big wardrobe here as well. You know, your wardrobe's not in the bathroom, so it's not tightening it up all that space. You're still gonna have your three huge drawers. And then our TV, it even pulls out. So you've got plenty of storage back here. We do put our Blu-ray DVD player in the behind the TV. That's also new for 2021 is our Blu-ray player. A lot of people have always asked for one. And then all up in here is our control panel. So we'll have our solar panel, your hot water heater switches, your over the air antenna switch or cable if you're plugged in at a campground. You do have your Xantrex 2000 watt inverter on off buttons. And then you do have your diesel generator switches here. Now, if you are to get lithium batteries, you would have another readout of the, for the batteries telling you how much voltage you're using, power you have left, what's being used, what's not being used as well. And for 2021, we added a sound bar in the coach. So we got rid of all of our speakers through the roof. We all go through the sound bar now. The radio is hardwired to the awning and the sound bar. So if you're listening to it outside on the awning, but you want to listen to it inside, with the Boss Radio, all you have to do is just fade the music left to right, left being on the inside, and the sound bar will play all the music you need, and it's super loud, so you will not hear it. So for 21, one of the biggest selling points of the RW is our bathroom. It's a huge bathroom, one of the biggest in the Class C industry, and the reason we changed a lot of our holding tanks on the outside is to get a bigger shower. So we finally got our one piece fiberglass shower. All of our showers now for 21 are one piece fiberglass. It's easy to clean, you don't have that plastic trim. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, we were just able to make everything bigger. So it used to be 24 by 36, but now it's 30 by 36. And I'm not a little guy, but I have plenty of room to get around in this shower. One of the nice things is it's, on, it's just flat on the floor. No step up getting into the shower. You got plenty of room. Again, just super convenient. It did not really change from the 2019 chassis to the 20. It's all about the same, but it's still very sleek. You know, 
It's got nice leather, black seats. You know, we don't really like to recover it because we don't want to mess with the airbags inside the seat because Mercedes prides themselves on safety because you know, they've added all the airbags here and in the seats, you know, trying to protect everyone as much as they can in case of an accident. One of the nice things about it is the 10 inch screen, you know, all touch screen. So it's just like a big iPad. You know, you got the navigation on it. It's huge. You know, I like it because it tells you where your diesel fuel's at, you know, nearest to you, but it's just a big screen. You know, you got your radio, all your Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay. It also has Mercedes Pro, which you can actually set that up, you know, and you can have a built-in hotspot through Mercedes, like a lot of cars today. So, you know, you pay a little monthly fee through AT&T or Verizon, but you'll have a built-in hotspot for the coach. That's something I think that's really nice feature to have. You know, instead of having to add more stuff onto the roof, you just have it raw right here. You know, then your steering wheel, you know, you have all your controls for the radio on this side. And then on this side of the steering wheel, it controls all the dash. Now the Mercedes, you know, it is on a three, it's a V6 turbo diesel, drives well, has a seven speed transmission. So you're gonna have that little get up and go. Now probably when you get to 60, 70, it might take you a minute, but I mean, you're driving a motor home, so you have to take that into account. But great driving unit. We also put on sumo springs where no one else does. So we're taking the axle blocks from Mercedes, we're about two and a half inches and add about five and a half inch blocks on there. So when you do hit that bump, your sway is gonna be taken out a lot quicker. It's just gonna smooth the ride out. One thing about the Mercedes is, you know, you have plenty of storage inside. So you got plenty of storage up here for anything you need. You do have eight cup holders, so you should never get thirsty. You do have your charging blocks up here. So they are already set for Android. The iPhone charger won't fit in. You probably have to get an adapter. But if you do have the right iPhone, I think eight plus or more, and you can lay the phone down and it will smart charge. You know, that's why you're going down the road. So you don't have to worry about hooking up cords and everything like that. One of the nice things about this Mercedes, you know, the seats, all, they will swivel. There's a knob in the front, swivel it around, you know, move the seat up a little bit before you do it. And to move the seat up on the door handle has the seat. So just press it up or move it however you want. You know, this seat will almost lay flat and go as far back as you need to. And it also does have seat heaters, which is a really nice thing. You know, the old Mercedes, you know, was kind of van-like. Well, now Mercedes made a big effort to make it more car-like and give you the features of their vehicles. So now we have that on our motorhomes and we're real happy with that. So thanks for touring our 2021 25RW with me today and going over all of our new changes. I hope you enjoy the changes. If you have any more questions, you know, go to our website, call the plan, call your local dealer, and we'll help you answer any questions you have. So I hope you have a good day and thank you. Trent's actually a third generation member of the Tiffin family. He's in charge of the Wayfair line of motorhomes and man, he's done an incredible job with that product. They leave our dealership about as fast as they get here. If that's the right motorhome for you, if you're ready to, to, uh, to make that decision on that new 2021 Tiffin motorhome, just give us a call. We got guys standing by, 817-831-1800. Remember, everyone who registered for our show today has got a chance to win two beautiful Kumo outdoor camping chairs. We're also offering a 10% discount right now on our parts and accessory website, silverbulletboutique.com. Just enter the code in below. It's Tiffin10. The Allegro Open Road is Tiffin's original motorhome. Jerry Williamson and Haley Dixon are here to show you why it's been the customer's choice time and time again. Jerry works for Tiffin Motorhomes. He has the same passion for these coaches as the Tiffin family. Take it away, guys. Hey, it's great to be here at Vought RV. 45 years together. That's, uh, that's quite an achievement. Uh, we've got a lot of great friends at this great dealership and uh, love being here. So, Haley, it's great to be here to tour this uh, Allegro Open Road 32 SA today. We're going to go over it and show you uh, a few things that make this the most luxurious gasoline coach in the industry today. No one touches it. This one is the primo in the gasoline, in the gasoline offering. Uh, beginning with a few things on the exterior, our entry door. Our entry door is wider than most of the competition. Why is that important? What do you think, Haley? 
Um, well, I think it'd be great to carry a lot of luggage in. We're always carrying things in and out, aren't we? So in the narrow doors, they create quite, quite a problem going in and out. Ah, the next one, the uh, Truma water heater, the continuous water heater. Again, the best water heating system in the industry. So Truma provides continuous hot water for those long showers that Haley told me she loves to take <laughs> on those cool days. So this is the best. It's easy to winterize, very little maintenance. It's high quality. All right, moving along. Ooh, fancy. Nice tailgate <laughs> days, right? We got our exterior TV, LG brand. Uh, all of our TVs, four in this unit, are smart TVs, meaning we can hook them up to Wi-Fi so we can watch Netflix or stream whatever we want on those, in those days of uh, camping. Yeah, and then we also have that sound bar up there also. Is that LG as well? Yes. All right. One thing that uh, Tiffin takes a lot of pride in that we've done, we, in our Ford chassis, every gasoline coach comes on a Ford chassis. There's no option. But what we do when we, when we get the Ford chassis in, we build a superior frame on top of their C-channel. So what does that do? That gives us a tremendous amount of additional storage that others don't offer. So when we look inside, we will see storage galore. Seventy gallon water tank, another diesel like diesel like feature that you see on a gasoline. At Tiffin, I mentioned that diesel. At Tiffin, we build seven different brands. Six of them are diesel, one of them is gasoline. This motorhome really thinks it's a diesel. When you when you walk around this with us, you're gonna see many, many diesel features. The luxury features that we show you, you will think you're in a diesel motorhome. The doors, cast aluminum doors. This is the same door you'll see on our top end Allegro bus. They're insulated, they swing to the side instead of opening up, so allows you to get in there to, get in there to your belongings a lot easier. Yeah, you don't have to worry about hitting your head when you're opening these doors. 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. Again, a diesel feature. Not only are they beautiful, but they're lighter weight. They're easier to clean after that, after that camping trip. Moving on around. Ah, forgot one. I think this is important. This is another one of our pass-through storage. What would we put in here? Rods and reels, the obvious, the longer items that, uh, that, we, that are a must. Everybody loves to fish. <clears throat> All right. The ladder is standard on our Allegro open road, making it easy to get on the fiberglass roof cap. Mm -hmm. At Tiffin, we were very vertically integrated, meaning we, we own and operate many of our own facilities. For instance, the fiberglass. This rear fiberglass cap, the front fiberglass cap, the sidewalls, we build those. We build those in, our, in uh, one of our facilities. The roof cap, which is very important. We really do a, a fine job on the cap. The cap literally goes over each side. It's one piece, so water can't intrude in there. You don't have to worry about leaks. So, it's one of the big key features that we have. The same roof cap that you see on all of our other brands. Six inch roof with tapered sides to help that water run off. All right, the hitch, 5,000 pound hitch. So we don't really have any limitations there on towing. We can handle just about any tow car that we, uh, that we desire. Here's something kind of cool, the fuel feel. A lot of them are on the, on the side. Well, you know what that means. It means you can only pull up to one side of the pumps, and invariably, that side's not going to be open. But on the, with the rear fuel, you can pull up to either side. You're not limited. Just a small thing that makes this the best motorhome in the industry. Now, I noticed that there was a rear view camera up, up here. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Good catch, good catch. 
All Tiffin Class A motorhomes come standard with a rear view camera. Not only, not only is it a standard camera, where some offer the camera, but they're smaller, mm -hmm. maybe black and white. These are color, very high uh, quality video, so you can see your tow car behind you. So yeah, when you're towing a car, you can't see it, you can't feel it without the camera. So it's a must to have that uh, camera yeah, on the back of this coach. Thanks for pointing that out. All right. Moving along, storage, storage, storage. Our exterior is loaded with storage. That's a big key factor on any Tiffin motor home. We put high priority on our storage. In this one, we find our 50 amp electrical cord. So another top the line feature that you don't find in all gasoline coaches. Um, one thing that, uh, that we have in here, 2000 watt inverter system on a gasoline coach. You'll find that on a diesel typically, but rarely do you find it in gasoline. What's cool about it is Vought RV options, they put that option in there, it's an option. One thing I love about Vought is they use nearly all options available to them on their coaches. When we say that Vought has loaded motorhomes, they are, they're loaded. And that's a good thing because you don't have to, you don't have to worry about not having that option you're looking for. On the 2000 watt inverter, we'll go back to that in a minute and talk more about that inside. Now, another, what exactly is this, Jerry? <laughs> ah, this is another, this is a key feature. So when we're out camping, we don't have electricity. When we're driving down the road and we, we're not able to plug in, we use this green machine here. This is an Onan Cummins generator. Typically, the standard is a 5500. Again, one of those Vought upgrades is a 7000 generator that they use in there. So, so what? What makes that good? This generator will supply all the air conditioners, microwave, everything on this coach, and then some. So let's say that we are camping with someone in a travel trailer that doesn't have a generator. Because we have a 7000, we can give them a little power yeah, to help them Yeah, them right out. up and give them some power too, huh? Right, right. Here's the other side of our pass-through storage. So... Yeah, and that, that looks like it's perfect for some fishing rods. Long That's, enough, right? I love it. That's exactly be a great day to be doing that. Okay, moving along. More of our pass-through storage. It's pretty, pretty interesting, pretty unique to find a gasoline motorhome with this much storage, especially the pass-through. Yeah, that's perfect for a, for a long trip. You have plenty it's of storage. Very rare, very rare. The chrome mirrors are one of the more luxury features that we feature on the Allegro Open Road. Yeah, it also looks like there are some um, cameras also oh, on there. Good catch, good catch, Haley. So, so what do those do? How do those work? Um, what this does, when you turn on your left turn signal, this camera will shoot back on the driver left side of the mm -hmm. coach, and it'll give you a picture of what's back there. So if a car's coming up and you happen to not see them in the mirror, it'll warn you, mm -hmm. it'll tell you that, the, it'll show you that a car's there. It's yeah, and a notification scene. will come up on, on yes. the, the screen up there, right? Yes, on and your And is this screen. on just the, the left? The left and the right oh, signal. Awesome. Either signal will operate this, and it's a fantastic safety feature probably saved saved me from a few accidents <laughs> i love them so all right moving along when we're out in a motorhome what do we want to do we want to enjoy the scenery we want to love our country this windshield is it enables us to do so yeah it's huge a full panoramic it is it is look at the height it's a single piece we don't have the we don't have brackets or anything in there to limit our vision this is beautiful all right, why don't we walk inside and look at a few things inside here. Okay. I should have let you go first. <laughs> All right, as we come inside and we catch our breath because this is a breathtaking coach, it really is. Beautiful. Uh, we look at the, uh, beginning with the, with the cabinetry, handmade cabinets throughout, solid wood, and this is one of the things that really sets us apart when customers 
take a look at our coaches. They brag on our, on our cabinetry compared to others. Not only do they brag on the quality of it, but the number of storage doors and mm -hmm. drawers in here. This motorhome is truly loaded. So, I mean, in this galley area alone, we have 12 different storage drawers and doors. And speaking of the drawers, slide that out if you would, all the way. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's pretty deep in there. So you notice these are ball bearing rollers mm -hmm. and you mentioned it's deep. Every drawer slides out 100%. So, that's great. So th what, what does that mean? That means when we're looking for those AAA batteries, open that one underneath it. We're looking for AAA batteries and they're oh, at the very back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So a lot of them will open to here. Yes. And you can see it's tough to find them. All right. So cabinetry, our solid surface, our solid surface uh, countertops now, are what is standard. Now, what is this made out of? What kind solid of material? surface material. It's really a, a plastic. It was designed years ago for hospital usage to prevent any of the germs mm -hmm. from penetrating. So, and it's evolved over the years. So it's a more colorful, no, more decorative. Uh, you see it in the custom homes. It, you started seeing it in custom homes and it's evolved into luxury motor homes. Not all of them have it, but this one does. Um, we have a cover over our gas cooktop. In addition, we have the cover over the sinks. So what, so what kind of pots and pans do we need for this? We need regular, your standard pots and pans can work for this, right? Yes, 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 it is. It sure, they sure do. They work fine. And what's cool about this, we've gone the extra mile in covering this whole countertop. Yeah, that's a ton of workspace. So you're quite the chef, as you were telling me earlier. So maybe that wasn't you. So you're, <laughs> you're, you so I'll make some chicken. <laughs> I love making chicken. <laughs> well, you'll have additional room. You won't need this much room. So another thing that uh, is pretty cool, 110 plugs and USB plugs right here. They're out of the way. They're concealed. They're not going to be, they're not going to get wet from water when they're closed mm -hmm. off. They're protected. So, and they're not going to be in the way. You're not going to have cords hanging down right. off That's the great. countertop. Now, what about this convection microwave? Tell me about that. Good feature. Great feature, actually. This is, a, again, a name brand, Sharp Carousel. It's been around for years. Yeah. The Sharp Carousel is a convection and a microwave. It's a combination. It does both. So, if you want to warm up that chicken. I can bake my chicken, chicken in there. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to warm up that chicken and do it in a hurry, you got the microwave. Otherwise, use a convection. You can see we don't have the gas oven in here. So it, what that does is gives us a lot more space for these two for big storage, drawers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the convection cooks with hot air and does it much quicker than a gas oven would do. Plus, it doesn't heat up the interior of the coach. Yeah, and that's great. That's Beautiful. great for the cooling systems. Check this out, Haley. That's a nice little spice rack there. It's just, Tiffin doesn't stop. We just go on and on and on and giving you all of the storage that is possible. It's one of the things that really separates us from the others. The residential refrigerator. Uh, this is awesome. For years, our industry only used gas and electric refrigerators. Uh, now we're using, now we're using the electric household uh, style of refrigerator. What this means is you've got more room. It works off that 2,000 watt inverter that we're talking about. It'll supply that. Um, you don't have the hots and colds. Your ice cream doesn't melt during the day. Your, your milk doesn't freeze in the night. This is a beauty. It's a nice, nice change that, uh, that has really revolutionized this, uh, this RV industry somewhat. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like this one's a Maytag, correct? Ah, you noticed. So the Maytag, again, is a name brand. 10-year warranty on the, on the Maytag. So it's probably going to be here in another 10 years. So if we do happen to need a part for it, they're they're hopefully be there. they'll be there. Yeah, for sure. All right. And then here's another LG TV. This, that, what is that, the, that's the third one. We third saw, one that's in unit. We saw one outside, one in the front, and one here. So yes. you're correct. That's there's number three. three. Three with the sound bar underneath and the fireplace underneath it. More storage above the TV. Again, storage, storage, storage. All right, moving right along. We'll go down this side. Now, remember, this is a 32-foot motorhome. It's not that uncommon to see a king-size bed in a 40 or 45. 
it is unusual to see a king size bed in this uh, 32 foot size. Not only is it a king size bed, but it also is a memory foam mattress. I mean, I've had customers tell me that these mattresses, they sleep so much better in their motorhome than they do in their house mm -hmm. that if they park it and store it at their house, they sometimes will sleep in their motorhome. If they have guests, they let them stay in the house and they sleep in the motorhome because they get a better night's rest. Rest is essential. Mm -hmm. um, another little thing that I love that we do at Tiffin, check this out. The corners are not cut off. So many other uh, competitors out there will cut these corners off to give you a little walk space. Mm -hmm. But what that does is make it impossible for sheets to fit on. You just can't do it. No, and you can't find sheets in the store so to fit that. People, people tell us how great that is constantly. All right, along with the storage. On the rear, this is the rear cap. We've actually utilized this area for even more storage. Nice little closet space there. It is. You never have too much storage in a house or a motorhome. And then, yeah, we got all the storage above the bed as ah, well. And that's, very good. that looks like it's pretty deep back there. And there's actually a, um, an outlet as well. Great catch. What do you think that outlet's used for? You're only 25. You probably don't know. I but, have no idea what I would use that one for. <laughs> well, when you're 60 like me, you'll put your CPAP up there. <laughs> Hopefully never. But that's, what, that's why we do it. We have many people that ask for that. Otherwise, they have to drill that hole and yeah. run that cord, and it's unsightly. So, good, good catch. And it looks like we also have USB. Ah. Um, Dual USB ports, yeah, ports on right both there. sides of the bed. So, if we have diff uh, separate devices, most of us at least have a phone. Sometimes we have more. Mm -hmm. So, we've got the dual USBs on both sides and actually a little storage <laughs> hidden away under there. We use every inch of our all the nooks and crannies. Storage. We do, and this also looks to, looks like to be a um, a touch control pad for your lighting as well. It is. Yeah, and the ceiling fan. It's exactly right. Ah, ceiling fan. Ceiling you just fan mentioned in here. It. A ceiling fan. The ceiling fan in those summer months when it's hot, it can help reduce the temperature by ten degrees easily. It's it's great. It's nice, and some of us really have to sleep with a fan again you're too i know good. i do oh you're doing good <laughs> yeah we're, we're in texas we have to <laughs> yeah we understand the wardrobe the wardrobe in the back and the large drawers underneath mm -hmm. so we got plenty for his and hers in the way of our goods again the drawers slide out 100 percent, making it easy to get to our belongings and we use a hamper on the front side right here so for those dirty clothes, boom. One other thing I want to show you, I keep talking about storage, but you can't show a Tiffin Motor home and oh, wow. not talk about short storage. That's great. So behind the television, we have our satellite receiver for Dish Network. We have our Blu-ray player right here that we could, we could operate this on any of the televisions there. Uh, our hookups for... The entertainment system are in behind there and storage space. We have storage space up in there. So you store all your movies or whatever else in there. Why lose it if you don't have to is our right. motto. It's the way we think. As you're going forward, you're going to see the shower. One piece shower. Again, what you see in, uh, in a $400,000 diesel motorhome. It's pretty rare to see it in a gas coach. But it's a must for us. And because we own... Our own fiberglass plant, we can do it. And it makes it easier to clean, a lot better. Yeah, and it looks like product. it has like a nice sliding glass door there as well. Oh, good catch. Exactly. That way you don't have to worry about opening the door and hitting somebody as they walk by. Exactly. All right, after a long night <laughs> or a long day, when we're, uh, when we're a little tired, we want to catch a little TV. In this coach, an eight-foot sofa. It's very common to see a four, four and a half, or even five foot sofa in there. Well, how are we going to lay down on that one and really, really enjoy it? This one, check this out. Look at all the space. My wife could even, even uh, uh, fit on this as well. We're not, we're not limited in the space. In addition, we it have turns a into a, a ah, sleeper bed, right? Exactly. That's awesome. It's this is called great an, for guests. Ah, it is. This is called the air coil hide bed. So it has the ability, has inter, 
more, uh, more like an inner spring mattress, and you can air this up to f- the firmness that you desire. Mm-hmm. This is the best guest bed on the market today. You can't beat it. That's great. It's awesome. That's great. Storage, storage, storage. We have uh, a tremendous amount of storage going all across the overhead area. This 32SA has the uh, computer dinette workstation. Computer dinette workstation, yeah. What is that? Well, it's exactly what it says. This is designed for usage. We all have computers, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody takes at least one laptop. Well, this is designed so we can put our laptop in this section, slide it in out of the way when we're not using it, has storage underneath, a slide out for a printer. We can put our paper underneath that. Yeah, this is this is great for everybody that's working from home these days. You can take your work really on the road with this unit. Great point. In addition, we have a file drawer underneath, more storage underneath there. So what about the table function? When we're using the table function, it's it's uh, it looks like it's just made for two. No, it's not. We we actually can pull this out and put and put two folding yeah, two chairs, chairs in could here. Fit in here for sure. Yeah. And we supply you with those chairs. They're actually in the basement. So we we came across them just a moment ago. <laughs> All right. And then when we're ready to go, you just slide it back du- right in there, huh? During the day, we slide that in and move it out of the way, and we're ready. Ultra leather, ultra leather. Uh, Ultra leather is one of the things that we use in all of our coaches. It's the best. Feel that. What do you yeah, notice? Yeah, that's nice. It's very soft. It's soft. Very soft. It's soft. In the summertime, it stays cooler than cloth does. Yeah, for it's, sure. Uh, it breathes. It's easy to clean. You can't say enough about the ultra leather uh, coverings that we use on our driver and passenger seats and our sofas. So throughout. All right. Well, Haley, well, let's just what talk else? about this control panel up here. Tell me about, is this where the, the rear view camera and the, the side the it, side cameras come it through? It is. It is. So we have, we have, the, uh, we have the Kenwood uh, entertainment system up here on the left side. On the right side, we have the backup monitor. The backup monitor is where we talked about earlier. When we turn the left signal mm-hmm. on, we get the camera changes to the left side and the right side. We have HWH hydraulic jacks, which is a standard on all of the Allegro open roads. So you just, they're automatic. So when we get to the campground, we turn the power on, Mm -hmm. we hit that power button again, they do their, they do their their work automatically. Yeah, that's great. So you can literally step out of the coach and watch this thing leveling and, and then see your neighbors in envy while they're watching. (laughs) They just wish they had them. So. So what what about the storage up here? Um, Storage, we have. We have uh, limited storage in the overhead. We have some storage area. Um, right here is a slide out made for the passenger. Yeah. So when we are traveling, we have uh, a place to put our computer. Yeah, great for a laptop. Whatever, phone, mm-hmm. reading. It slides out deep enough that we can utilize it. Yeah. That it's really great to use. Looks like there's pretty nice cup holders. There's four up here. Exactly. It's a pleasure to drive. It's a joy to drive. It, it's, a, it's a great coach. I don't know what else to say other than it's a fantastic coach, and it's a lot of fun. One other feature up here that I want to point out, again, one of the many options that Vought loads their coaches with is called a Wi-Fi Ranger. The Wi-Fi Ranger quite simply allows you to hook up all of your phones, your mm-hmm. computers, everything to that device so you're not having to once you log into that device, you won't have to start you roaming won't have for to internet. Roam for internet yeah. every campground you go to exactly. Yeah, that's great. It's a good Ain't... feature. Good feature. What else, Haley? I think we missed the bathroom. Let's let's ah. go back and look at that. Well let's look. Who needs a bathroom? So? <laughs> I think we all do, don't we? All right. Okay, and this is good to point out because this bathroom is a lot larger than it looks. It has very deep concealed area for the private toilet. Again, storage for towels and goods. Storage underneath. 
we have the solid surface bowl, solid surface cabinet, countertops, and the overhead storage as well. One thing that's, uh, that's, uh, you'll find in all of our Tiffin Open Roads is a fan on top. Not just a little 12 volt noisy fan, but this one is actually a 15 blade fantastic fan. It has three speeds, so it actually does take the take the uh, it ventilates the coach well. It'll take the it'll move the air is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the window uh, along with the shades. By the way, all of the Allegro open roads have the privacy blackout shades. So I've had people say, "Man, I'm a light sleeper. I really need it dark in my coach." Well, this does it. This does it right here. It gives you, it gives you the blackout. It gives you the privacy that you need. And that's so, in the whole coach, right? That's in the entire yeah. coach. And then also, I like to point on this door. These uh, the built-in towel rack. That's a great feature. Great for storage. Let's see. And then also, there's the, these pocket doors that we missed. So there's actually two of them. You close off and. Um, Separate yourself away if you've got guests and you, or you want to use the, use the shower and, you know, be private. And then there's also another one right here to the bedroom. And they do lock, and which is lock, a good yeah. thing. So you can't be. Yeah, you got to pu push down this, uh, this handle here and it oh, moves it forward and backwards. We were mentioning the shades and I want to point out one more feature on the shades here. Um, not only do we have the blackout shades, but you can see I've lowered this shade in the living room. This is a daytime solar shade. Mm -hmm. What it does, you know, you mentioned it earlier. We had these Texas hot Texas days heat, over yeah. here. We got it. Well, this will this will prevent the UV uh, a lot of the UVs from penetrating inside the coat. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, ultimately, it means it keeps it cooler. Now we love our natural light. We've got to have our natural light. We, the more the better. Right. Um, this window right here in the galley, by the way, one of the newer features that Tiffin has done. We were the first to enter the market. Several have copied us since then. But this is beautiful. Again, it's like the windshield. We want to see what's going on. We're yeah, because you're camping. You're out home. at the campsite. Yeah. So this is it's beautiful. It it offers you, it offers you uh, the ability to see what's happening in the world. All right, Haley, I am. I'm good. <laughs> I think this is a great unit. I love it. I love it. This is um, the next step up from the Wayfair, actually. For, yeah. for, for size, I believe, yeah, it is. right? Uh, yeah. Again, it's our only, uh, Tiffin's only gasoline coach that we build. Mm -hmm. But as we pointed out, there's tremendous amount of diesel features in here. So we really, we really built a diesel coach and we're powering it but with a Ford gasoline engine. So thank you. Yeah, right. thanks. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Jerry and Haley. We'll see you guys again a little bit later. Now I've got Ryan Powell here from Solo Stove, one of the most innovative camping stoves I've ever seen. What do you have for us, Ryan? Thank you so much. So today I've brought my two smokeless wood-burning fire pits. So what you see here is our bonfire fire pit. Um, Solo Stove has designed these smokeless fire pits with a simple combustion. The bottom vent holes that you see on these fire pits allow for proper airflow. So you build a fire in here just like you would any other fire pit. You're going to stack your wood, your kindling, whatever it is you might want to burn, and you light that up. As soon as you do, it's gonna draw air through these bottom vents and allow for that air to flow between the two walls of stainless steel. Once that air reaches these upper vent holes and reaches the flames from your fire, it causes combustion. And that combustion is what's gonna eliminate all your smoke. So as I mentioned, we have two different sizes here. This one is gonna be your bonfire. That one's gonna be for a group of about six to eight people to comfortably hang around and stay away from a smoky mess. And then what you see here is a Ranger, which is a little bit smaller, but designed the exact same. And that's going to be for a group of about four to six people. Um, so now what we're going to do is step outside, and I'm going to show you guys how to light one up. What's going on, guys? We are outside with the Solo Stove Ranger, and I'm going to show you guys how to light these up. It's super simple. I brought my own personal one to show you guys, along with a brand new one for comparison. Um, so what we're going to do is I've already stacked some starters in the pit here. All we're going to do is just light these up to get it started. Once these starters are going, we're going to stack on a couple logs and I'll show you the secondary burn.
Now we just wait for those starters to catch and we'll add a couple logs and watch that secondary burn kick in. No smoke in your fire. All right, guys, so our starters are starting to catch. So now what you're going to want to do is just add some small logs to start because they're easier to catch. And once you get those going, you can start to add your larger logs. All right, so we've added our first couple of smaller logs. So now we're just going to wait for that secondary burn to kick in. It's going to start cutting out our smoke so we can enjoy. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me today to check out the cool solo stove smokeless fire pits. Um, these things are going to be great for making new and wonderful memories with your family. So gather around and don't forget to avoid the smoke with the solo stove. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Ryan. By the way, one of our... Tiffin owners who's registered for the rally is going to have a chance to win one of those Ranger solo stoves. So good luck to you guys. Guys, we have something really special next. We have an interview with Bob Tiffin, founder and president of Tiffin Motorhomes. He's going to talk about how our legacy with Tiffin and Vought started. Well, the first time I met Danny was in 1976 in July. Sometime that spring, Tony Michero called us and uh, wanted to buy some, wanted to buy one motorhome from Johnny Hargett. He was our sales manager then. And uh, Johnny said, I won't sell you one. He said, I'll sell you three. And so him and him and Tony talked about it for a little while. And, and uh, so they bought three and we carried them out there. And of course, they sold them right away. I mean, bam, 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 they sold all three of them. And so we sent some more out there. And, and so I went to their lot out there at, at Fort Worth where they were at. And so I got to looking for the motorhomes and all I could see was one of the bagels and different kinds of motorhomes. And so I finally walked around to the back and there are three motorhomes were at the back fence. And that was okay I was, because they were selling them. It didn't matter to me. So I walked around to the front and uh, I saw this young man there and it was Danny Vaught. And so I shook his hand and. That's, that's the first time I remember seeing Danny. And, and of course, a little bit later, I, I, I went to Tony's office and we had a, we had a long talk. And that started uh, my relationship with them for many, many years. Now, they, they did a, a great job all, all through, the, through the early years with the, with the aluminum unit. And that's what they were looking for, was an aluminum unit. There's a lot of units that wasn't built uh, aluminum, a lot of wood units built back then. When they ordered the motorhomes, you know, like Bob said, they ordered ordered three units in a row, and that put them on the dealer's list, and that 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 made them official dealership for us. In fact, they're one of the oldest dealers that we have. You know, they started in '76, and we we, we just began in production in 1973. So you know, we hadn't been in production very long at all when they started with us, and through the years, they've maintained the stability and the service and everything that we need. I figured one of the one of the biggest changes was the introduction of the slide room. You know, the slide room. Uh, another big deal was when we went fiberglass exterior. Uh, it's more challenging uh, uh, going to the to the fiberglass exterior. The aluminum skin was what we used for years and years, and I'd go out there and see Tony and Danny and and Joe Dalton and the other sales guys ahead and. When are you ever going to go to fiberglass? That was always a question. <laughs> so we did in, in 19, uh, 19, about 1990, we started with fiberglass. 1990. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so we used fiberglass for a sense, but there was a long time there. There was about three or four years that we continued on with the aluminum skin too, because I was, I was, uh, I wanted to make sure that, that it was uh, going to be the real deal, you know, so it was. And of course, we made a lot of, a lot of strides. And that's one thing we always did and always do is go out there to the dealers and try to find out what they like and what our customers like. In fact, I've been working, and Danny has too, we've been working their show 
uh, ever since uh, they've had a show. They've always had one, usually in January. And back in the old days, uh, it, when they first started, they had the show at, at downtown Dallas. And we worked, we worked the show, and I go out there and work every year. Well, a lot in many ways. You know, the, if you got a if you got a big corporation that operates companies, then it's tough to get a decision made. And so, a, a family-owned company can can make decisions on the spur of the moment and get things done. And I think as time goes on, uh, that's a real that's been a real uh, a real advantage for Tiffin Motorhomes, you know, and for and for Danny Vaught too as a dealer because see, he. He don't have to answer to anybody but himself. We were in the service business. My dad started the business here in Red Bay in 1941, Tiffin, Tiffin Supply Company. And uh, we sold appliances and well pumps and everything that had to be serviced. And so I grew up in the service business. I knew what to do. and. When we started building motorhomes, it was it was a second nature to me to make sure we had everything serviced because we have to face our owners just like Blot does, and th they do a fantastic job. They got a good service. They've always had a good service department. Bot has a has a like Bob said a very good service crew there, and they do a great job. And mm -hmm. when we have a service school back to plant, they they're factory trained, so we do a lot of lot of uh, uh, factory training for the the boys. How fortunate guys we are to be able to do business with a family like the Tiffins. Thank you so much for your time, Bob. We really appreciate it. Now, if you're looking for an affordable diesel pusher that does not sacrifice on quality, the Allegro Red is going to be your choice. Jerry and Haley are going to be here in a few minutes to show you a couple of more. But before that, we actually have two generations of Tiffin salespeople here at the dealership. Race and Chris Harrell are going to show you the, one of the Tiffin Reds. Remember, guys, these motorhomes are in very limited supply. If this is what you want, if you're looking for a new 2021 Tiffin motorhome, now is the time to get one. Just give us a call, 817-831-1800. Take it away, guys. Hey, guys. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new for this year, the Allegro Red 33AL. Everybody's used to the Allegro Red. This is kind of like a breeze on steroids. It's got the 340 engine in it. You can pull 5,000 pounds. And all new for this year, guys, look at this color out here. If nothing says I ain't ready to go to the beach or the ocean, this is the coach for you. It's got it all. Also new for this year, on all the Tiffins, they changed and they all went to the Gerard awning package all the way around it. And that's standard now on all Tiffin motorhomes. This coach, I want to show you one thing up front. Kind of winks at you when you're driving down the road. You're running lights. It's kind of like it's smiling at you. I said this is the brand new 33 AL 340 Allegro Red. You still have a lot of the features that you do on the other ones. But as you'll notice here, you're not on a complete raised rail chassis, but you do have pass through storage. All the compartment doors are identical on all motor homes. You've already seen the LG TVs with the sound bars, but one thing that they've done this year that I really like, they've added some USB ports right up here. This coach is a full paint motorhome. The good thing about a Tiffin is I'll put their warranty up against anybody. You got one year on the coach, three years on the paint. Five years against delamination and 10 years against a unibody structure. Guys, there's no better warranty in the RV industry than what this is. You can come on back, and a lot of these features are going to be kind of redundant because they're going to be on all of them. You got the Trim Aqua Go. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because we've already shown that to you. You got your receiver hitch back here with a seven way Bargman plug. This is a stacked radiator in the rear 
when you get to the leg roll bus, you're going to have a side mount radiator. Another feature that's a little bit different on this coach than the other reds and the other diesels that I have, this coach only has one fill for diesel, and it's on the passenger side. As we walk around, you are 50 amp service. You have the two air conditioners. Here's your wet bay. This is a water filter right over here. You filter all water going into the motorhome. Even the water that you put into your tank runs through the filter and you have filtered water. You have a pump switch outside. And guys, the one thing that I love about this, your water pump's right out here where you can get to it if you have a problem. Your low point hot and cold drains are right there next to it. This one has the slide out toppers on both. Of course, you get all the uh, side view cameras, front and rear. Or not front, sorry, just the side and that. And we're going to go in here. It's got the one-piece windshield, the molded fiberglass roof. And I said a minute ago that you had the one fill on the uh, passenger side. The fuel fill is on the driver's side. There's just not one on the passenger side. Guys, let's run inside and take a look at some of the wonderful features this coach has to offer for you. And we'll see what uh, my son's done. And if that's not just about the way it always works in here, with the old man's working and the young man's resting, this is it. That took so long, I had to take a nap in this new recliner in here. Woo! Let me kick it over to Chris and let him show you some wonderful features inside here. So right over here, you're going to see you got a nice big recliner. Let me tell you, that thing is comfortable. Got me a little nap in, waiting for the old man over here to finish out on the outside. Uh, you got a couch right here, electric fireplace. Booth dinette, this will make down for another bed. <coughs> Guys, look over here. Look at this galley window right here above the, the kitchen counter. It's going to let in a lot of light. really opens all this space up. And then storage. You have plenty of storage, cabinet storage in this thing. Let me open all these up so you all can take a look at this. Guys, this thing, go, I mean, it goes all the way back, all the way through. Plenty of storage. All LED lighting in here. More than you got more over your booth dinette. Same thing as the other side. Storage all the way through this thing, guys. Above your kitchen sink. You got your three burner stove right here. It is a gas stove. Guys, take a look at this fridge in this thing. Fridge and freezer. Open this up real quick. Then you have a pantry, of course, right next to your fridge. Plenty of room in this. The bottom's going to slide out here. Top, your, you know, cereal, all that. Good. The bottom right here would be good for your canned goods. And here is your bathroom. Corner shower, toilet right next to it. You got your medicine cabinet right above your sink. I'm going to let Ray show you the bedroom back here. Okay, guys, as you're walking back in, still in the kitchen, you've got a nice pull-out pantry down below with adjustable shelves, the top stack with adjustable shelves in it. You got to make Mama happy when we're out here at the lake. You got more adjustable shelves over on the bathroom side. The other neat feature about all the Tiffins on your pocket doors they're all on glides. They walk out, lock in. You have your privacy in the back. The one thing that's different about this coach that you're going to see on the rest of the reds and the gas and the fades and everything, it's got the two ACs, 
but you still have these that are sitting down to where you don't see them on the other ones. These are quick cools right here. So if it's really hot outside, open these side vents up. You're going to dump more of your air out in the air. You got still great counters. This coach has the in motion satellite on it. It's already wired up with Dish Network. You still have your regular TV antenna, but it's all uh, on there. You got the king size bed. And when you come back on this one, you've got the Whirlpool stacked washer dryer on it. Another key feature that uh, Tiffin's been doing, they're putting USB ports on both sides of the bed along with 110 electric on the sides. So you've got all kinds of power to do anything you do. The another neat thing that they just started doing, I believe last year, is if you look right up in here, let me see if I can get you a little bit more light. There's an electrical plug in your above cabinet. If you have a CPAP machine or anything like that, you can drill a hole out here, put your CPAP machine in, drop your hose down, use it. You get up the next morning, un, un, uh, undo it, stick it right back in the top. You don't even know it's there. Guys, the Tiffin Allegro Red is going to be a barn burner. It's at a very, very affordable price. It's a great coach. You got the day-night shades all the way throughout. You can sleep a lot. This couch right here unfolds and makes a bed, so you can do two here, two in the back, one or two kids here, five to six people. This is a great starter diesel motorhome built by Tiffin. Everything they do is with a customer in mind. You have all the touch control pads. This coach has air level on it instead of uh, hydraulic jacks. It's a beautiful, beautiful coach, guys. We appreciate your time. We look forward to showing you some more here in just a little bit. Thank you all. Hey guys, you need to replace the batteries in your current RV or do you want to upgrade the batteries on your current RV? We have some great choices for you. Guys, we got the Lifeline AGM batteries, normally $349.38. We've got them right now for $279.50. And if you've ever thought about upgrading your batteries to lithiums, we've got the Lion Energy batteries, normally $999.99 for $799.99 right now. For either one of these batteries, go to silverbulletboutique.com today and get your new batteries. Hey guys, my name is Colin Aiken with Tiffin Motor Homes, and we're here at the Vod RV uh, virtual, virtual Rally. Now, behind me I got a 38 LL, which is the overall length of 39 and a half. It, just like every Tiffin, it has the one-piece fiberglass front cap, rear cap, uh, and sidewalls, and also our roof. Now, a few features that you're always going to see on, a, on our Tiffin Class A's is the exterior TV. That also has the sound bar, and then also the USB ports right there. And in the compartments, you'll see that we got a 24 gallon propane tank and extra storage above. This is when you're starting to get into our pass through storage. But Tiffin, we always maximize on our storage. And one of the things that you're always going to see across the line is our side swinging doors. We don't have to worry about you, you know, trying to creep under the doors of, on the you know, top hinge. We always want to make sure that it's easy access. Then we've got a 70-gallon fresh water tank and a 50-gallon black, black tank. And then we got our house batteries. And then more storage all the way through. One thing you're also going to see, just like you saw earlier uh, on the 33AL, is that we have the Truma Aqua Go Comfort. Continuous hot water. As long as you have water in that fresh water tank, you're going to have hot water as well. And then we have our um, we have our surge guard and make sure that you protect yourself from the um, any surge or anything like that. Uh, we also have our def tank. 
And here's our wet bay. And of course, storage throughout. Of course, again, there's the pass through storage again. And here's our house batteries, which would have easier access uh, with the um, with the slide out tray. And of course, here's your access to to get to your generator that's up in the front. Which uh, in the front we have a eight eight thousand watt diesel Onan uh, generator. All right, let's make our way to the front. I mean, in, inside. So, well, inside, there. <laughs> so here we got Haley with us. She's going to uh, help walk through the inside of the coach. All right. So where do we want to start here? All right. So one thing that you're going to notice about when you walk into this coach is that all of these cabinets all throughout this, uh, the coach, what, what's different we always boast on is our maximizing our storage. And what's really cool about it is that we, always, we build our own cabinets. And one of the things that we really pride on is making sure we listen to our customers. So one of the things that you're going to notice is that a lot of these cabinets are unitized to maximize the, what you can put in there. If we were all blocked off, you wouldn't be able to put in that cushion or the you know, along with these boxes. Yeah, extra through. pillows, blankets, anything can fit in there. So any way possible we're able to maximize the storage is key. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a lot of storage. And then it goes all the way around yes. to the front of the coach. And then over here, we got our dinette sleeper. So this comes down and makes into a bed. Yeah, and these cushions come, come down, right? Yes, yes, those cushions come off. And then you have, you know, extra sleep in here. And what's cool and what we made, which was um, new for this coach, uh, we introduced this, um, of course, the 38 LL, we introdu introduced this this year. Uh, we also introduced the Super Sofa. So what's cool about the Super Sofa is a combination between a bed, fifth and fold bed, and uh, uh, power recliners. So what's really neat, let's go ahead and start this. Get this going. Oh, very nice. Awesome. That's all it, and that's all it took. There's it's all built in within the memory foam uh, cushions. And very comfortable. Here, I'm gonna get this back. Yeah, seamless, really. So very easy to use, very comfortable. And you don't have to worry about any pumps or um, whatever the mattress that's under. It's all built in within the sofa. Yeah, that's great. And another feature is, of course, the power recliner. And of course, oh, we don't have the power hood up. We never <laughs> turn on the in inverter, <laughs> so not many of the things actually work. Yeah, we're just running off the... <laughs> We're just running off, yeah, we're just running off the house battery right yeah. now. But what's really neat about this coach is how it's laid out. You have the you have your living quarters right here, or your living area, to where it's segmented out to where you're able to watch your TV here and then also dine in with your kitchen right there for easier access. Do we want to talk about the kitchen real quick before we oh, yeah. get onto the bedroom? Completely forgot about the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> So of course we got the uh, convection microwave. So you, if you're not, if you're happy with uh, not having your uh, oven, you're still able to use the convection feature uh, to still cook, like as if you had your your oven at right, your home. Right, right, that's great. And this is is this a gas yes. stove that we have here? Mm -hmm. oh, I just pulled that grate off. Oh no, you're good. So. So yes, we got And this is propane. again the same type of countertops. It's all seamless and yes. gives you tons and tons of uh, 
prep space for, for cooking. Yeah, so these are uh, solid surface countertops. They're non-porous. Uh, you're not going to have to worry. They're, uh, I guess the word is... Uh, easy to clean. Easy to clean, yes. Yeah, easy to clean. They're not going to absorb all that nasty stuff when you're cooking. Not so much, you know, not no germs or anything like that. Yeah. They're going to stick into the pores. Um, so very good benefits with it. And, of course, yeah, anywhere that we can, we're going to be able to have our covers, making sure that we're able to maximize as much counter space when we're not using yeah. it. So. Yeah, and that's a pretty deep sink we have here also. Oh, yeah. So plenty of storage underneath and then plenty of drawers as well. Yeah, once again, it's all the name brand appliances. We have the Whirlpool and then the LG fridge, LG TVs. Oh, yeah. The Furon fireplace. Then we got to pull out... I mean, or we got pull up pantry right here. So, any any spot that can be considered space, we make sure that we're use it, using it. We don't want any just open space that could be used um, for our customers. Uh, so, and whenever yeah, there's making, always making feedback. Making it a very comfortable. Oh yeah. Stay in your motorhome. Mhm. Mm All right, and then we also have our our half bath. This is a uh, half a uh, bath and a half. So you're able to separate. So if you're having people over, you don't have to worry about them going through your bedroom uh, to use the restroom. They have their own while you have your own. And then you have the memory foam. It's a sleep made, mm -hmm. uh, custom made mattress just for us. Uh, it's very king. comfortable. Yeah, we also have the USB outlets again. Yep, and then we also have our overhead cabinetry. Yep. Very deep. All right, then you have your wardrobes with your mirrors in front of them. So you always, you always, you know, get your clothes, get mm -hmm. ready, and then you also have a beautiful view. And the then mirror. again, there's the behind <laughs> the behind the TV storage. I'm not sure how to oh. how to do that, but. More storage there. So, and this is where the entertainment compartment is. You're able to access where we have our blue, um, our Blu-ray, our Wally, -E, um, everything else to where you can um, hide right behind the TV. Very nice. Without any, uh, worrying about um, messing with the fire exit, so. And then here we are in our full bath with the optional dish, stack dishwasher. Yeah, the washer and dryer combo. Yep. Or the stackable, I'm sorry. And then as well as more cabinets for storage. You got a full shower. Yeah, one piece fiberglass shower. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of storage. Oh, yeah. What's even neat? Like I said. That space behind the shower is even utilized with this sliding, I guess, linen, linen compartment. Yeah. And then also, this also has the, the pocket doors. This is a pretty standard thing here with Tiffin, if I can get it open. Oh, and then on the back side over here, it's got a mirror. All right. Cool. All right. So that about wraps it up in this 38 LL. All right, so that about wraps it up uh, in this 38L. I think that's back to you, back, uh, Anthony. Thank you guys so much. Right now, guys, I want to pause for a minute and talk about our partnership with the Boot Campaign. It, it's something we're very proud of here at the dealership. The Boot Campaign offers a comprehensive wellness program for military personnel and their families that helps address not only the physical issues they face, but also the mental ones. For every unit that we sell here at the rally, we're going to donate $100 to the Boot Campaign. If you would like to donate, we'd love that visit bootcampaign.org. We're lucky to live in our shoes. They take us to ball games, parks, and picnics. They take our kids to schools where they're free to learn. In these shoes, we choose our leaders, speak our minds, and live by conscience. 
living in our shoes is simply amazing. We have a lot to be grateful for. And those who make it possible for us to live in these shoes wear shoes like these. In these boots, they serve us and uphold our freedoms. These boots take many to far off places where they march into danger on our behalf. And when they come home in these boots, they get to live as heroes all over again to their families and communities as they reconnect, overcome, and rebuild. Today and every day, American soldiers and their families are making extraordinary sacrifices for civilians like us. So how are we showing support to those who serve? The Boot Campaign started when five Texas women, the original Boot Girls, read Lone Survivor and the picture became clear. They had to help Americans put themselves in our military shoes, to understand, to support, and to walk alongside them in gratitude. So how does Boot Campaign make a difference? Well, every time you buy a pair of combat boots, you're stepping into the shoes of heroes, and you're telling the world that you stand with them and their families, and your money goes to help them directly. They serve us, so we serve them. And this simple concept has really taken off. We've had celebrities, musicians, athletes, and leaders all get their boots on to show their patriotism and support. We've raised millions of dollars, and it's making a real difference in the lives of real people. Imagine a world where we all get our boots on to say thank you and send support. Imagine how that would promote patriotism, raise awareness, and provide assistance to military past and present and their families. So lace up your boots and join us. Wear your boots to the office with that fancy new suit you just bought. Or wear them to the cocktail party you forgot to cancel. And when people ask you why you're wearing them, you get to say that you're honoring the men and women who serve us. And then you get to invite them the same way that we're inviting you. So get your boots on. Let's go make a difference. All right, we're back to look at the 2021 Allegro Red, one of my favorites. The Allegro Red motorhome is loaded with amenities inside, and on the outside, we feature a Freightliner chassis on a 360 horsepower Cummins engine, so it'll get you where you want to go. It'll tame any road that you want to that you want to travel. So some of the features awesome features on the uh, exterior of this, our entry door. Tiffin Motorhomes builds a unique entry door for this motorhome. You can see it was effortless when I closed it just now. So people with a little arth arthritis, uh, grandchildren that uh, open and close doors, they can easily handle it. This is a two position door actually, so when you get ready to travel and you want it to seal airtight, you give it a little more force and it closes and you have no air leaks on the inside. Um, the 22 and a half inch 275 tires, uh, six tires and wheels on here, the aluminum wheels. This, this motorhome has four slide outs, two on, the, two on each side, larger slides in the front. This is really pretty neat because it's a 33 and you're, we're going to be surprised at all the features. Outside TV with the sound bar. And as pointed out earlier, we have the USB ports in here. So we always need to charge those phones. We always need to charge those gadgets. So this gives us the ability to do so. Now in our storage, this will wow you. This much storage in the outside of a 33 is unheard of. This has it. <coughs> Pass-through storage with the slide-out tray. This makes it easy. When we, have, when we have the need, and we always do, for storage outside here, this will handle it. Something pretty cool that Tiffin's done for years. Check out this box of tile. These are actually the tiles that go inside. Tiffin, every motorhome that Tiffin sends out, every one we build, we give a box of tile. Why? In case you ever break one, in case you ever damage one. You know, it, it's difficult at best <clears throat> five years from now, if and when that happens, to find the tile that matches. So we give you that tile just in case. Hopefully it never will. This uh, motorhome is equipped with a vacuum system. 
This bag has the 30-foot hose. Uh, the, the system itself is centrally located, so you can go from front to rear without a problem. It has all the several attachments, uh, the tools for it. In the end, uh, in this box right here, we have cookware or induction cooktop. Induction cooktops require a specific type of pan. Really, it just has to be magnetized. So this pan, this box of pots and pans and lids come with every Tiffin Motorhomes that has an induction cooktop. And this one obviously does. Another unique thing about this outside slide out, it will slide out both sides. So if we do have our belongings over here on the pass or driver's side, we can get to them from the other side as well. More storage. Water tank and water heat, uh, water tank and holding tanks. Our engine batteries are located in this compartment. Along with the shutoff switches, we have the chassis shutdown. So we don't have to worry about coming back to our coach after it's been stored a few months and our, and our batteries are dead. We can completely shut off all power to them. By the way, before I close this off, a couple of things. We, uh, we have constant uh, charge power going to those batteries whenever we're plugged in. So. Another storage. Oh, one thing that's really cool about our storage is they're lighted. But not only are they lighted, they, they have a sensor on all these lights. So when we get ready to find something in our storage, we can actually leave it in on position and any movement of my hand will, will uh, operate the light and then it'll go off automatically. Just another small thing that makes a Tiffin motorhome the best in the industry. The roof rack and ladder is a standard feature. This motorhome has a Cummins 360 horsepower engine, 10,000 pound hitch. That's another unique thing on a small motorhome to be able to tow 10,000 pounds. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. In this compartment, we have more storage but in behind here, this is, this is really a neat thing. It's kind of hard to see, but it's got screws holding it in. So when, when we get ready to do the normal maintenance on this coach, such as uh, air cleaner, we can get to it right behind that panel. So it saves us hundreds of dollars on an air filter replacement. That is critical in a diesel motor home to do. Oh, by the way, our mud flap. It's a custom mud flap that has the name Allegro Red printed or stamped in it. It does have a protective coating on it right now. So when that comes off, when you buy it and it's yours, we'll take that coating off and it's going to be beautiful stainless steel. Um, the power cord, surge guard protector. One of the new things that uh, Tiffin started doing recently is we started doing a electrical surge guard including them on our motorhome. So we don't have to worry about plugging in when you have a too much power and that power will fry one of your appliances without it, could. In our wet bay, as we call it, it's loaded, loaded with features. Um, we have our tank flush, our city water connection, uh, outside shower. So if we want to clean the sand off our feet or whatever, we have the ability to do it. These two valves are for holding tanks, gray and black. They're both the larger three inch, so, they're, so they will drain thoroughly and quickly. The one inch valve down here with the red handle, that's our water tank, uh, our water tank empty valve. Doesn't sound like much, but it's a big deal. We heard from many of our customers when we used to put a half inch valve that's pretty standard in our industry in there, it sometimes takes three to four hours for that water tank to drain. Well, if you're waiting to put it inside your storage area, that's a long time to wait. This will do it in a matter of minutes. The slide out tray over here that we were talking about earlier, 
so we can open it from either side. We opened it from the other side and now we open it over here from the driver's side. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. And of course, it's on the ball bearing roller, so it's simple. Anyone can do it. This motor home, all of our Allegro Red motor homes have dual fuel fill. So we don't have to depend on being on the right side or, or one side being empty when we need it. We can use either or. Our chrome mirror heads, our 8,000 watt generator is a standard. It's in the front, it's located in the center of the coach. So, so we've uh, designed this so we get the best, the best weight distribution for that generator where it is. And it's away from the bedroom so we don't have to worry about the noise level, even though it's very quiet. One of, the, one of the new additions that I really love is our Girard awning package. Girard, it's like Tiffin, it's the best name in awnings that you can get in the business. You can't get a better awning. And we've decided to go with the Girard awning package throughout, simply because you can't do better. Uh, the, this patio awning has an automatic retract, so if the wind gets up, it's a little high, and you're out, you're hiking, you're, you're having a good time, you don't have to worry about jumping back to your motorhome. It'll retract automatically. It's pretty smart. All the windows are dual pane windows. We at Tiffin build our windows ourselves. Why? Many reasons, because we control the distribution, the shipping, but more than any reason, we, we can uh, determine what size windows we put in. Natural lighting is a must. It's a must. We're out in the open. We love the outdoors. We want to see what's going on. We have larger windows than most of the other manufacturers out there because we determine what dimensions we build. We supply no one else except for our own Tiffin motorhomes. Check out the galley window, the size of that. All right, why don't we walk inside and take a look, uh, take a look at a few things on the interior. Hey, Colin. Oh, hey. How's What's it going, going? On, man? Just enjoying this beautiful interior. I love this couch. And, you know, I was really just messing with this reading light. Just got to make sure I got it ready for when I come back in here and start reading my favorite book, Call of the Wild. So, in this coach, we have our mocha cabinetry with our dark brew interior decor and also our vicinity uh, tile floor. In this living area, you're going to see that we have the air coil sofa with the recliner on the driver's side and with the midsection TV. What makes that air coil sofa better than anything else? What, what, so what? That air coil sofa, that doesn't tell me much. Well, the thing about the air coil sofa is that it's compressed in there. And then there's a uh, built-in motor that inflates it to where you're adjusted for the proper for, uh, firmness. Wow. So what you're telling me is... is I like a bed pretty firm, and my wife likes it uh, a lot less firm, so it'll it'll adapt to either of our needs. Exactly. Awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, and then on across from the sofa, you have your U-shaped dinette, and I'm more of a leaner. So, I like this corner right here. It's good and comfortable, <laughs> and I got this nice view of the overhead uh, TV right here. I got to check that out. It looks inviting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and complimentary with the solid surface uh, dinette countertop. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And one thing is, I'm going to show you about what's new for the driver's compartment. And we just got this perfect opportunity. And they set it up just right. I'm going to turn it on. What's new for 2021? is on this OptiView digital dash, and also our drive tech is our tire pressure monitoring. So wow. it will let you know if there's, oh, look at that. There's tire warning. It's telling you that there is low pressure on the tire. So you know well in advance when, uh, when you have low pressure in your tire and you can act fast before it uh, becomes an issue. So when we're traveling down the road, this will, this will warn us when we have a tire that's going low? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Better, react new. better proactive than reactive, right? I love it. I love it. All right. 
So one of the new things that's uh, for 2021 is the sound bar. So we got rid of all the wiring for the uh, surround sound. So you're not going to see as many speakers throughout the throughout the ceiling. It's all in, uh, right here. It works through the blue Blu-ray player, uh, through the um, to all of the TVs, but it is going to just stay right here, along with your your beautiful fireplace. It's not a you know not a real flame. You know flames and motorhomes don't go good together, but it does put off the you know good heat and the great ambiance uh, that you'd like in a fireplace. And then we'll move on to the kitchen. One of the most convenient features is that. I really don't know where to put these cooktop holders or even the sink holders. What well, the great thing about this cooktop holder, the cooktop, is that it's hinged. And one, one thing you'll notice is that this is an all electric coach, so it's going to come with a, a true induction cooktop. Now, it does come with some pots and pans to make sure that you have the proper cookware, but you can also check and make sure that your uh, current cookware uh, does work. Um, there, if you go to their side at True Induction, they will they will give you a few steps to make sure that you do have the proper cookware. And one thing is about these sink covers. Where do you put them? One of the things that we added for 2021 is a nice little sink uh, cover holder down below. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, and yeah. you just uh, you just answered a lot of the issues. My wife is is a great cook. Probably why I married her. No, no, there's other reasons. I'm kidding. But uh, but she is a great cook, and she's always we, – we've owned several motorhomes. She's always complained about the lack of counter space on here. So with the sink covers and the cooktop covers, that gives a, a chef incredible, incredible space to work with. What a yes. great idea. Oh, yeah. We're maximizing the space on a countertop. But one thing that we took in 2020, uh, we actually got this from a customer – that we need to make sure that we're maximizing space within our cabinets. So you'll see in this overhead dinette cabinet that it is all unitized. You're going to see that it's, well, these two are connected. So you got pass-through cabinetry, so you're not just uh, restricted to this one little spot. It's the small things that make this motorhome great, isn't it? Yes, definitely. All right. So throughout the coach, you're going to see these back, backlit spider multiplex controls. But in the middle of the coach, you're going to find this um, this uh, LCD screen, LED screen, that you're able to control uh, the majority of the coach. One of the newest features is when you go, to, let's go to the light section where you can control all of your lights. You see the up and down arrow. If you hold that, you're now able to dim. The lights. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're if you're wanting to dim down the light, set the mood, you're not able to do that. What this also encompasses, all right. So you got your home screen that has your aqua hot. Like I said, this is an all electric coach. That's what um, all the all electric coach comes with the aqua hot continuous hot water, along with the induction cooktop. And then you also see your tank levels, your water pump, uh, a few of your light uh, choices. Uh, your house and chassis battery, and also your um, generator start and stop. You also see all your lights here, your climate control for your front and rear AC, all your uh, ceiling fans, um, whether it's your vent fans or your actual ceiling fan that's in this bedroom, and then the rear slides are controlled through this panel. And then the last thing is diagnostics. With it being a multiplex, you're able to make sure that uh, you have all your diagnostics uh, aware of any faulty issues. And they, they show you right here of anything that's, uh, that's any faulty for, uh, within the, all the different uh So if there sections. were a fault, we would have a red light instead of the green light, is what you're saying. Yes. And so what makes this so awesome right here, I get compliments from our owners on this all the time because... They have no idea how to analyze and a problem when they're out there in the field using it, but they do know how to look at this panel and tell a technician that, hey, all lights are green, or we have a red one. So if they tell us number T4 is red, then our Tiffin technician on the other end of the line can say, oh, great, I now know where to take you to. So it's pretty cool. This is something that uh, that you don't see on others. So back oh, to yeah. you, Colin. 
So, and again, we're maximizing the storage anywhere we can. Any open space in the walls, we're going to take uh, take advantage of it. Any shelves, any any purpose that can be uh, used for. And one thing we are going to make sure to show is the bathroom within the middle of the coach. With your, again, cabinetry above the toilet and then also the medicine cabinet above the sink. I like that little shot you took there. I uh, failed to show a bath earlier, so I like that. You didn't mean to. But <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, this then, is great, man. What an awesome floor plan. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it's 33 foot. I know it. But you got two sliding pantry doors. You know, great for spices uh, and adjustable, too. You're able to adjust the height, so if there's something a little bit taller, um, you're able to um, make sure that that can fit as well. Not, It's not fixed in there. We're making sure that you can customize it to your needs. And then, of course, if you're, you know, if your wife... Um, is wanting to uh, still watch TV in the, in the living area, but you're ready for bed. Time to close her off and go to sleep. With the pocket door right here. And what's nice about the bedroom, I can still I can stand on this step and still be able and not worry about uh, the height, which is great. Very tall ceilings, and within this compartment, you do have a hamper you have your media which it has your in motion satellite and your blu-ray and then drawers beneath and on this 33 AA I mean you can only imagine like there's not enough there's not any more room but there's a, enough room for a stack washer and dryer all right so, I, th I want to say that that's about as, as much as I can show you, one Jerry. Thing, oh, you've done great. But one thing I've got to talk about real quickly, 33 foot and a king size bed. Oh, my goodness. Man, isn't it? I mean, that's, it's unheard of. And the storage underneath. What? <laughs> There's like 17 storage areas inside this bedroom alone. More than my house has. So, the motorhome, it, it's beautiful. The Allegro Reds are they're awesome. There's no reason or no wonder why it's a, a number one seller in the industry today. All right. Well, that wraps it up for this 33AA. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Anthony here with Bot RV. Today, I want to talk to you about our prep process and what that means to you, our customer. Every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and motorhome that comes through Bot RV goes through a 144-point inspection process. Everything from the propane and water systems, smoke detectors and ice makers, ignition systems and thermostat operations, air conditioners and stabilizing jacks. All of the external and internal components are thoroughly inspected to ensure that you not only have a great delivery process, but you can make adventures for years to come. So you may be asking yourself, what does this 144 point inspection cost? Here at Vaught RV, Anywhere you see a price advertised, whether it's at our website at VaughnRV.com, whether it's at our dealership, anywhere that you see a price posted, that fee is included. Here at VaughnRV, our goal is to be completely transparent with you, our customer. We don't want to charge you anything extra once the deal is consummated. And that may not be the case with some other dealers you work with. You may be very excited about a price they give you, get in that closing office, and now they're charging you extra fees. We are never going to do that at VaughnRV. Guys, shop with confidence at VaughnRV.com. Or come visit us at our dealership. We're just five miles east of downtown Fort Worth. Come let us help you start your next RV adventure. Hey guys, right now we're going to take a look at the 2021 Allegro Red 38BA. Guys, one thing about Tiffin this year, they have the number one selling diesel pusher in America, 14 years in a row, the Phaeton. The number two selling diesel pusher in America is what I'm fixing to show you, the Allegro Red 360. And number four in America is the Allegro Bus. Tiffin has three of the top four selling diesel pushers in America. And when you look through these videos, and you can see exactly why they are. Let me show you some neat features on this 38BA. Of course, it's all fiberglass exterior, full body paint. 
It's on a raised rail chassis. Goes all the way across. This coach even has a slide-out tray. The slide-out tray will go either in or out on either side. You can bring it out here. Makes it easy when you're fat like me to get stuff out of. Bring it out the other side. Little push, it locks right back in. You have two furnaces on it. Also, what they've changed up this year, besides the drawn audience, they used to have just a plastic cover that goes over here where your refrigerator is. Now they put an easy access manual door. You can get right into the back of the refrigerator if we have to. All of the Tiffin motorhomes also, when you go through, you, you can just see the quality in everything that they do on it. For instance, it's not a major thing, but a lot of people don't recognize it. Michelin tires on all Tiffins. They don't use anything else. Aluminum wheels. This coach, you can tow 10,000 pounds. All of the Tiffin motorhomes now have the Truma Aqua Go. It's a hot water on demand. As long as you got water in your tanks, you're going to have continual hot water. You come back, you still got the access on the rear. You can check your transmission, your oil, your filter. You can see it. You've got a lot of room down in here. Another neat thing about all the Tiffin motorhomes, the all them Tiffin, they're all a molded one-piece fiberglass roof. Everybody always says they got fiberglass roof. The difference is this being crowned and molded, the roof is seamed on the side instead of on the top. So you don't have to worry as much about leakage inside. Another neat feature on the Tiffins is when you come over to the wet bay, if you'll notice that you've got your drain that goes right down here for the sewer and runs straight out. The beauty about on a Tiffin, this is reversible. So when you're sitting here and you're done and you're ready to travel, you turn it up like this with your cap on, and if anything leaks out of either valve, when you take it off, it's not going to come running out on your hands. You hook your sewer hose up straight out the bottom, turn it over. Got a place for your water hose reel out of here. There's your propane tank. If you notice it's running sideways instead of length, it doesn't eat up your storage. There again, we come back to the compartment doors. All compartment doors are the exact same. It doesn't matter if you buy an Allegro gas or a Zephyr. They're sturdy. They're all built the same way. Side view cameras. Rear view camera. And the other thing on this particular coach is you're going to have three air conditioners on the roof. Not two, but three. You have two 15,000s and a 13.5. So this is a coach that if you're in hot weather, it will work for it and cool you down. Dual fuel fill, either side of the coach. You really can't see it right here, but all of the Tiffin motorhomes have the 3M mask on the diesels up front to help protect against rock chips. As you can see on their paint, they do a great job. Tiffin has their own paint facility. It's not farmed out. Everything is done by a Tiffin. Guys, let's run inside. Let me show you around on this coach. Got Anthony in here with me to kind of walk around and show you some features on this coach. On all the Tiffins, one of the biggest complaints they had over the years, the slide-out control was in the middle. You go to slide your slide out, this chair's leaning back, it's in the way of the slide out, it bends the chair. So Tiffin integrated the slide controls on the seats. That way when you're sliding these slides out, you can see you have a problem before you really do. This is really a beautiful coach race. Oh, it is. I, the other, one more thing, Anthony, that they did, which is really, really cool. And this is for this year. Went to the digital wow. dash instead of the gauges That's on beautiful. this. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a cockpit instead of a... Because <laughs> you're flying an airplane, not a yeah, motor Yeah, it really does. It's, it's really hard to believe when I'm stepping inside this thing that this is not Tiffin's upper end coach. 
Right. I mean, this is this is a, it, as far as Tiffin goes. This is kind of towards the bottom, and it sure does not look like a coach that's towards the bottom. No, if you look compare, you can compare this to a lot of other manufacturers' top end. Yeah, I mean, quality one woodwork, uh, chairs, everything. And if you'll notice on this particular coach, it's flat floor slides on both sides. It's really spacious. What does red mean? I, I know pe pe some people may know, but just for those that don't know, what does the red mean? The red means rear engine diesel. Don't ask, I don't know. They just came up with it. It stuck, and that's what it is. They used to have the Allegro Bay that had the front engine diesel in it, and then when they did this and already had the Phaeton, everybody just kept thinking, well, we need another rear, rear engine diesel, so red became of that. This is show you another little fun fact real quick before we get going. Every Tiffin is going to have a little window down here. A lot of people want to know what that window's for. Well, originally back in the early days when they were doing these, Tiffin had all the windows in there, and it was because if you were in the driver's seat, you really couldn't see something right next to you, so it was so you could a driver could look straight out and see a motorcycle or a little car right beside you. Everybody got used to it for their dogs and cats and everything. When they first, when they finally started putting the cameras on them, everybody was calling in to Bob saying, leave the window, leave the window. Our dogs, cats, love, that's their window. So even today, with all the technology we got, they still have the dog window. Just a little fun fact. Well, that's what comes with the hist years and years of history of uh, building motorhomes, right? Exactly. Uh, some neat features on this. You still have the hide couch here. And if you'll notice, uh, Flex Steel is no longer producing the furniture for all RVs. Tiffin found this, and I think this has been a major upgrade. Everybody so far has loved the comfort, the durability, and everything of the seats. Uh, driver's seats, sofa, recliner, everything. It's just been great. Does that make a bed race? Yeah, this is a hide-a-bed. It's got the air mattress. You've got a mattress cover, and then inside the mattress cover is the air bladder for the uh, deal. You want to make sure when you put it out, air it up, or you're going to be sleeping not too good. <laughs> Got a hard mattress. Yes. I love all the cabinets over here, too. I know, you know, when you look at motorhomes, I know Race knows better than I do. He's been selling these things for a million years. Um, that's a spot where a lot of your motorhome manufacturers will cheat, right? They'll try to save some cash by not putting any cabinets overhead in the slide. That, and then they also, what they'll do, Anthony, is they're not going to be as deep. You can put plates in here. I mean, yeah. I, it's elbow deep on me. You can put crock pots in there. You can do a lot of things. A lot of other manufacturers will have a four or six inch cabinet there, and they don't cheat you on it. You know, space is premium when you're in a motorhome. Yeah, it is. No one ever said this motorhome has too much storage. Right. I've never heard that. One thing, too, explain the air, because I know Tiffin does their air conditioners a little bit different than a lot of your manufacturers do. Yeah, except, except on the Red 340, everything that's going to be on there, like I said, you already have three air conditioners on this. You're going to have a return air vent all the way down this side. You're going to be shooting air out over here, all the way down. It's a central duct system. So you could have the middle air conditioner on if you're only at a campground that says only has 30 amp service. You can be able to run that air conditioner, but get air all through the coach. Yeah. Keep, keep you from having hot spots. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Or you can cut on the front and the rear and still get it. But with the three air conditioners on here, I don't know if you like to sleep cold, but I can make you put a blanket on in the back. <laughs> I know my wife does. <laughs> I got to wear, wear a full long johns in the middle of the summertime. Exactly. And this coach, so much like that they're equipped, it has a fireplace over here with the lift-up TV and the sound bar. Uh, and if, like I said, you can look through here and see, you're going to see Whirlpool uh, microwave convections, Maytag refrigerators, yeah. LG TVs. They're not knockoffs. I mean, they do a great deal. And this year... They now do this on the reds. And that just gives you so much more countertop space. You know, you're, you, you, the countertop space is another uh, you know, premium when it comes to RVs. Because when you're in it, you don't think about, if you've never had one before, where am I going to cook my meal? Where am I going to prep my meal? Even if you're making a sandwich, you have to have enough space to do those things. Well, it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, counter uh, to a woman, this is more important than the overhead. You've yeah. got to have. And you don't lose anything in drawer depth. Yeah. And then they've also gone with the, the, like I said, the flat floor up here, but it's kind of got a wood-looking floor in this coach. Uh, you've got the central compo uh, control panel. And we this come right back. And this is a full wall slide, right, Race? That one, the, the one on the passenger side is a full wall slide. 
uh, goes all the way back to the rear bathroom. It makes it make good lord. It just makes this place feel so big inside. It feels like a bowling alley in the yeah. park <laughs> because it's a straight shot yeah. back. You've got the half bathroom up here, which is if you're married, guys, this will become your bathroom. <laughs> And as we come back to the master bedroom, you've got the king size bed. There again, you've got the USB ports on either side of the bed. You've got a 110 outlet on each side of the bed. This coach, you've even got a ceiling fan. It makes it really nice because you can open up the side windows if you're in the right place. Crack that, cut this on, you get a nice circulation of fresh air in here. And that's what it's all about, guys. You've got to live the dream. You don't buy these to stay at home. You, this is your summer house, your lake house, your mountain house. You want to be anywhere you want to be, and there's a lot to see on the ground in the USA. So yeah. this is a perfect travel unit. And I'm just looking at the wall back behind you. I mean, this, that, just the, the, the amount of detail that they put in um, into into the, the construction of this thing, you know. It looks like a house. You've got the, the paneling on the bottom. You've got the molding on the side there. You know, I, I challenge you to find a lot of motorhomes at this price point with those same kind of features and details. Yeah, it's the fit and finish. I guarantee you, you can, and you'll see later on in more videos. But you'll go. We're going to go all the way up to the Legro bus. You're, the same people that build their Zephyr, the top of the line motorhome, are the same ones that build this coach. The same integrity goes into building this as it does their over a half a million dollar Zephyr. So, you're not getting cheated on anything. Uh, you step up into the main bathroom. You've got an electric toilet. The only thing you got to watch out for here is occasionally this thing's got a pretty good suction. If you're not careful, the next thing you'll hear is, Hey, honey, somebody come get me out of here. <laughs> right so you just got to be careful. But you got the washer dryer, Splendid. And then you got the nice big shower with that you can set down handheld. Pull out drawer up here in the front. I had so much storage in that bathroom, too. That's crazy. There's more storage in this than there is in my house in the bathroom. <laughs> it's, it's so much storage in a bathroom. And that makes it nice, too, because if your breakers or something trips to rut here, you're not having, you're to, not get having to raise the bed up. Oh, get on your hands and knees, crawl exactly. around the motor room, looking you, for the breakers. Apparently, you've done this before. I have. I have done it okay. a time or two. But yeah, I mean, this is for a, a motor home, if you're wanting something that's comfort, very durable, has integrity to stand behind it. This is the right coach. I mean, the red uh, 37BA with a bath and a half, it's great for families. It's great for just two people. Look at the livability of this coach. I mean, and Anthony's already pointed it out, the workmanship, the wood. Uh, they just don't cheat you. It's just a great coach. And you know, guys, to me, and I've been selling these for over 26 years here at Vaught. And now he looks like he's been doing it for 126. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing up my. Uh, he's going to be. He's going to be our be, Santa Claus I'm this be year. Santa Claus this year. Uh, but one thing that everybody always asks me, race, what's the warranty on these? You know, I want to know what happens the day after my warranty's over with. Guys, the one good thing about Tiffin, it, this coach can be ten years old. You can pick up the phone and call Red Bay, and they will treat you like you just bought it. If you need parts, they'll get you into parts. If you need service, they'll get you into service. They're not going to say, oh, your coach is out of warranty. You need to call a dealer. Once you buy a Tiffin motorhome, you're part of the Tiffin family as long as you own it. And that is the one thing that has kept me at Vought RV and selling Tiffin motorhomes is the Tiffin. Well, you can't beat it. Tiffin and Vought together, they're ain't just, it's just it's, unheard of. It's a great combination. And, and to Race's point, there's not a lot of manufacturers out there that will actually do service at the factory. I mean, you know, you cannot call a lot of these other manufacturers and go, hey, I need to bring my coach in. They're going to tell you, call your local dealer. Not that we don't want to service you. We'd love to service you, but sometimes that's not a good option for you. So it's great that, 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 that Tiffin will actually service units that they sell. Yeah, but in all fairness to that, Anthony, we don't have the Kundong Cemetery that they can come and see us at, but they can see it up there. <laughs> I mean, but it's just, a, it's a, and Anthony brought, that's exactly right, guys. They're hands-on. They've got a campground there. I'm not telling you they'll get you in that day. But they're super good, super friendly. So are we. When we need uh, service or parts, they're Johnny on the spot. Everything. If you're looking for a great motorhome, guys, this is it. It's the Allegro Red 37 BA, bath and a half, three air conditioners, 360 engine. It all it needs is a new address. Come see us.
I'm Adam from Demco. We are the manufacturer of many RV towing products in the industry. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is our tow bars and uh, braking systems. Uh, flat tow. So we have our basic three tow bars. We have a, our Dominator tow bar, which is 7,500 pound towing capacity. Our Excalibar, which is 10,500 pound towing capacity. And our Commander, which is 6,000 pound capacity. All of our tow bars have the same features, so it makes it easy to choose. The only thing you need to know is how much your car is going to weigh and how heavy of tow bar you want to carry. We have an aluminum bar and two steel bars, depending on, on, a, on, on your decision on what to tow. All of our, our tow bars, the biggest thing that we have to offer in the industry is a lifetime warranty. So all of our bars come with a lifetime warranty to the original owner. The cool thing is a lot of people, they, they keep these tow bars for 10, 15 years. Lifetime warranty is a big deal in the RV industry. You can actually send this tow bar back to the factory for the lifetime of the original owner. We will rebuild the entire tow bar and send it back to you freight prepaid for the entire life of the original owner of the tow bar. We have a complete line of towable uh, items for the industry. We have the brake system here, which the Air Force One, which goes hand in hand with the Tiffin line. Tiffin actually has three or four chassis that they actually put our Air Force One package on. All you have to do is simply purchase this product for your tow vehicle, and you're ready to go. Thank you, Adam. We really appreciate your time today. Guys, we've got a couple of great camping chairs on sale. Let's take a look at those right now. Hey guys, if you're looking for a really comfortable, really portable, nice chair for your campsite, there's nothing better than these director's chairs right here. We've got them in blue, we've got them in black, and we've really got them discounted right now. Guys, this chair right here we normally have for $69.99. We have it on sale right now for $55.99. Go to silverbulletboutique.com and get yours today. Aaron Vaught is really the heart and soul of our family of dealerships. His, uh, his dedication and leadership have really brought us to where we are today. I really appreciate you joining us today, Aaron. Of course. Uh, what is one of your earliest memories of Tiffin? Well, uh, it's tough to pinpoint the earliest memory. Most of my memories are going to be um, visiting the factory. Uh, I know I did that really early in my career. Um, certainly um, spent a lot of time with, with Bob and, and people from Tiffin at all the RV shows. They've been so generous to, to join us for. I, I don't know how many they attend across the country, but I know they attend several of ours every year. It's amazing to watch Bob. He's like a trooper. He's, he will sit there for 12 hours straight answering people's questions. He is unbelievable. I have, I have tried to rescue him, just <laughs> assuming that There's he's no had There's no rescuing him. It's no, like he, he, he loves doing it. He enjoys it. And uh, everybody I've met in that family, and like I said, multiple times as long as we've you know, been together. Um, but I just, I remember early on in my sales career, people, um, sales guys that uh, I remember Joe Dalton and uh, Scott Jones in particular, Tony Matura. Uh, sales guys that spent 20 years, you know, plus with us, uh, took me out and specifically showed me a Tiffin motorhome uh, where we were hanging from the cabinets. I, I remember doing that. Sitting on the, the doors and just to show me the quality of a Tiffin. Um, and that's really not how you sell a Tiffin, um, in my opinion. You start with the family or how you start. You start with the family. You start with the privately owned company. You start with Bob. Um, but then pretty quickly you, you move on to the product itself and the quality of the product. So I just remember really early on when I was a very young man, 20 plus years ago, that the people that worked here wanted to show me why we were successful and how to show a Tiffin motorhome and what was important. And then I remember meeting the family and visiting the plant and meeting all the workers there. And uh, it's just been a part of my life. Yeah. I mean, it's that, as long as I can remember. And that all kind of ties everything together, which is, you know, the, the family, the quality of the product, the, the, the saleability of the product. It all just kind of ties all those memories together into one. Yeah, I, I've been very fortunate in my career and uh, start um, washing RVs, moving to sales and, and, and so on. Um, but I don't know if I'd have been any good trying to sell products um, that weren't products like Tiffin because yeah. that's something you can believe in. I believe in their family. I believe in their product. I believe in... Their coaches, I have traveled in their coaches, and I know that I can always pick up a phone and call somebody. So, you know, it, we are a product, or our success is a product of our people and of the products we sell, and Tiffin is 
it's the first thing I remember. Yeah. So now that you're kind of a, you know, in more of a, a leadership role at the dealership, how does your relationship with Tiffin affect the decisions you make with Vaught RV? Um, well, I, Tiffin and Danny have shaped my entire career. Every decision that I make at Vaught RV is based off of uh, ethics that I've learned from, from those two gentlemen and from their companies. So every decision made at Vaught RV goes through, I'm glad you asked because I, I talk about this all the time, <laughs> but uh, every decision is made with a few questions. One is what is best for our customer. Uh, two is what is best for the manufacturers or our partnerships. Uh, three is what's best for our employees and four is what's best for, you know, the bottom line. We got to keep the doors open. We got to be able to service everybody. But uh, I really believe that uh, that came from having kind of a, a kindred spirit with Bob. He's, he is a man of faith and he wants to do what is right uh, all the way through his organization. Um, Danny Vaught has always taught me that we're going to take care of our people and we're going to treat people right. Not my grandfather with the saying that we have on the wall. Uh, where you can't be wrong by doing right, and you can't be right by doing wrong. I mean, every decision that I would make, and I hope everybody here makes at this company, is going to go through those questions, which is, again, what's best for our customers, what's best for our partnerships, what's best for our employees, or team members is how I like to call it, and then, of course, what's, what's best for this dealership's bottom line so that we can continue to be around. Um, but i got to tell you, it's... Tiffin Motorhomes and Bob Tiffin and the Tiffin family and the people that work for them as an extension of their family, just like I believe the people that work at our dealerships are an extension of our family, they all believe in doing what's right. And n none of us are perfect, but I promise you the intentions are perfect. Mm. And I have 100% believe that I have gleaned that from Bob Tiffin and Danny Vaught, as well as all the wonderful people that work at, at both places. Aaron, I really appreciate your time today. Oh, Thank you so much. No problem. My pleasure. Guys, we're going to see the, uh, the fake motorhomes next. They have been the number one selling motorhome for over 10 years, and we're about to see why. Dang. Guys, this coach, it's hot. This is the fake number one selling diesel pusher in America. Not of just Tiffin, of all major brands. Hottest motorhome you can see today, the Tiffin Phaeton. Let me point something out. This coach is built on a power glide chassis. This is the 40IH. If you'll look, it's a seamless slides. Guys, you know what's important about that? Everybody else, they're all framed in. This is fiberglass, 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 fiberglass on the top. It's screwed and glued and then framed in. Not on this coach, it's a molded one piece shell. This slide out is built specifically for this motorhome. Clean, smooth looks. It's what you see when you get up to half a million dollar motorhomes. Beautiful. This coach is 13 foot 2 inches tall. Look at the clearance that you have in there. Remember, this is on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis. You have both of these storage bins. The white box, this coach is fully electric. It comes with all the pots and pans that you need for your induction cooktop. Compartment doors, the same thing if you buy the Zephyr, same kind of compartment door. Outside TV, LG, sound bar. And the thing I really like is they've added the USB ports over here on the side. You got your phone outside, you need to charge it up, you plug it in there, you're watching TV, you got it going on. Let me show you another neat feature on this motorhome. Still got a little bit of storage in there. You've got great storage on this coach all the way around. Back of the refrigerator, window awnings. And like we said earlier, all the Tiffins are going to have Gerard awnings all the way around. This one's gravity. You pull it out, attach it right here. More storage. And one thing that I really like about what Tiffin's done on all their motorhomes, on their diesels, if you come out, you're not going to use your motorhome for a while, here's your engine battery disconnect. All you do is turn it off, and it cuts your power off right here so you're not putting a constant drain on it. You get ready to go, cut it back on. The only thing I'll remind you to do is put your little ribbon around the steering wheel or something, remind yourself that you cut that off, or you'll be a dummy like me, 
go get battery chargers and jumper cables and everything and then not realize it until you come out. There again, 10,000 pounds towing. You've already got the seven-way Bargman plug. Roof rack and ladder. You've got this right here. You've got an attachment that attaches to come on down, but it still gives you the integrity of the motorhome down below. Now when we step up to the Phaeton line, you've got a power cord reel. Your DEF is right here. And guys, these are just ping tanks. That way you can come in here, cut those on every once in a while, blow any moisture out of your lines. So that's what that's for. You've also got an air chuck that's out here that you can plug into. If you're at the beach or lake or need to air up something, you can do that. And like I said, this coach is fully electric. So this one has the aqua hot system on it. You also have the power water hose reel, place to put paper towels, outside shower. You got a monitor gauge out here that's digital. Your water filter, water pump, low point drains. This is made for people that just need a little help on remembering things. It's the easiest thing in the world to operate. If I can do it, y'all can. Extended cycle batteries. If you notice, you've got six batteries on here. This coach is equipped because it is fully electric, faster recharge, longer lasting, everything about it, and it's on a slide-out train out. Last year it was not. Dual fuel fill. Circuits and breakers are in here. Side view cameras up top. This coach has three 15,000 BTU ACs with heat strips and the Quiet On and Diesel 10,000. One thing that they're not going to do is cheat you on power. You got the 3M mask, one piece windshield. Guys, if you're looking for a great value motorhome, you come out, let me show you, or let us show you the Tiffin Phaeton, and you'll see why it's America's number one selling diesel pusher over 14 years in a row. Let me get you inside and show you some other features. And if that doesn't wow you, I'm in trouble. Come on in. I couldn't hear everything Ray said, but I can tell how much he loves his motor home. Oh, man. man it's, it's, it's fun to show stuff you love, right? Oh, th this coach, there's nothing not to love about this, Anthony. I mean, to me, it's the great, greatest value coach for the dollar that's out there today. Uh, Take a look. The beautiful mocha wood. I mean, it's just, it's unheard of. It looks contemporary and classic at the same time, if that's possible. Yeah, you know, that's a good it, way of putting it's it. Got, yeah. It's got a nice classic look to it, but because of the shape of the cabinets and the cut of the cabinets, it has a more modern look to it at the same time. Yeah, and this and it's, li it's lit up like a Christmas tree inside here, too. It is right now. <laughs> and that's the beauty about this. You can cut off lights. You can set the ambience. You can do whatever you want. If you just want these accent lights on on the roof, you can do that. If you want to light it up, you can light it up. The thing that I like about it, what they've done right now, is with the two big recliners right here. And then if you're sitting there, you got the big lift-up TV. And we're not talking about a 24-inch TV over here, guys. Race, I see a couple of switches on these chairs, too. Is it What, what are these for? Do you have heat and everything in these chairs? No, or, that's your power. The Oh, power for the seats, okay. Yeah, power recliners. You can see what this is like. The one thing that a lot of people complain about in an RV, you're in there in the evening trying to watch TV, and, you, and you're having to turn your head all the way left or all the way right yep. to watch TV. Not with these guys. You just sit right here, kick your feet up, and TV straight in front of you. You got a place to put your uh, beverage of choice. <laughs> The front two seats turn all the way around, so you've got a great, great conversation Man, you piece there, Anthony. Fit more people in here than I'd want in here. Oh yeah, you can drink eight, eat four, and sleep too. <laughs> Just come over, have a drink, stay for dinner, but then you got to go home. Yeah, you better get up. I'm worried you're gonna fall asleep in that chair. Yeah, me too. <laughs>
You said this is all electric coach outside, right? Fully electric. Yeah. Does that mean there's no propane in it at all, correct? No propane at all, because what you're going to do is you're going to jump in and you're going to go to the induction cooktop. And all the Tiffin motorhomes that are built with induction cooktops also supply you with the induction pots and pans. That was my next question. Another thing that's really cool about this, there used to be plug-ins all over the place down here on the wall. Now what they've done, maybe, they've integrated plugs right here, plus they've still got plugs on the top. It gives you that nice big window, too. That's a huge window in that oh, kitchen. Yeah, but it makes it nice with here. If you've got a coffee pot or something like that, you can do it. The other thing that I like about it, and I had a lady tell me this, so it makes sense. When they're going on a long trip, she would take her crock pot, put all her food in there, set it in here, plug it in here, and while they're driving for that five or six hours, they're cooking their meal. You got your pot roast ready when you get to where you're going. Dad gum right. <laughs> so, I mean, there's all kinds of things. And there's solid surface countertops, guys. Uh, this started, I believe, in 2019. You're talking about the back the backsplash? Uh, the back window. Yeah. The back and window is really nice. That is just taking over. I had people trading out of 18s just to get the window. Just for the window. Yeah. Glass sells RVs. It does. You got the day-night shades in this, Coach. If you look at the treatment up here, like on the ceiling and things, I mean, it's just, you can see why this is America's number one selling diesel yeah. pusher. You know, I'd, I'd put this against anything. Yeah. You can do this, Coach, with a boot dinette. You can do it with a, a dinette computer workstation or a dinette bar. I have not seen the dinette bar, but the workstation's always been good. And then, of course, with the booth, if you need to sleep, another one, you can. This one does drop down and make a bed. That you got the height of bed there, the one here. And if you got little kids or something, they can more than likely sleep in the chairs. I'm sure Race has slept in a chair. I guarantee one, one I have many times. <laughs> you got some storage underneath the dinette too, Race, right? Oh, yeah. That's one. I, I know a lot of times people ask about that because people will actually go with the dinette just because they like the extra storage that you get in the, underneath it. It's valuable storage, yeah. especially if you're going to be having people with you. That's a great place to put pillows, mm -hmm. blankets, things like that for your beds. Yep. So you're not having to take up the rest. The other thing, since I did say it's fully electric, this coach has a heated tiled floor. Now, the, what stands apart that Tiffin does and everybody else, most people that have a heated tile floor use their aqua hot. So you're running water, zigzagging water all the way through your floor. Tiffin doesn't do that. Tiffin uses kind of like heat blankets, and they're laid down. So you're not going to have hot and cold spots. You're going to have two different zones. So when you're going through, you don't have to worry about it. Plus, if you ever get a water leak on one of those, you got to pull all that pipe out, and then you got to try to get it fed back through there, and it's almost impossible to get it back right without pulling up a bunch of tile. On this, if it goes out, you pull up one tile, replace the circuit board on it, and go again. So this is a wonderful deal, guys. A lot of people say, I don't need a heated tile floor. I'm not going to be where it's really cold. Well, I'll tell you something. You put this heated tile floor on, I think it's on zone two, and it'll heat this coach up about three or four degrees just off the floor yeah. because it's radiating heat. And people don't realize how much cold comes up from the bottom. Oh, when, yeah, when you're exactly. RVing, you, you, Even if you're not – so I, I would say a lot of times, yeah, you may not be going somewhere cold, but you might drive through somewhere cold in between. And what if you have to stop while you're traveling? You're going to want those extra ways to heat your coach that, that aren't quite as uh, overwhelming as, 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 a, as a heat pump or a furnace or that sort of thing. And you had the aqua hot, so as long as you had the aqua hot on, you're going to be blowing heat down into your tanks and basement, but you're not going to be blowing enough to keep it warm. Yeah. You'll keep it from freezing, but you're not going to do that. But even with a cold front coming in, it's going to get down to the 50s. Uh, you cut this on, you don't have to use your heat pumps. Yeah. And that's the other thing, beauty about being electric. You don't have to buy propane anymore. Matter of fact, you buy this coach from me, and I'll give you propane for life on this coach. <laughs> Another great feature that they've done on yeah, this. People are going to be bringing you barbecue grills. I said just on this coach, yeah. <laughs> slide-out pantry. Now, I know I was showing you the other slide-out pantries on other units. But what starts this now being unique is the fact that if that ignition key is in the on position, this will not open. And you're going, okay, what if I'm going down the road and I need in there? That's a release lock. All you would do if the ignition key's on or engine's running, push in on that. That releases your lock so you can still get in there if you're going down the road. Now we go to the Maytag refrigerator. 
Ice and water, right? Race. Ice and water in the door. Guys, it's a residential refrigerator. It's just like you'd have at a home. Now, I, I said outside a minute ago, this coach is like 13 foot 2 inches tall. Most coaches are 10, uh, 12, 10, 12, 8, like that. Same interior height, guys. Seven foot ceiling inside. Your storage is where your height is what you're gaining. And that's what's important. Hunting gear, uh, bicycles, anything you want to carry now, you can do it because you've got the clearance. Here's the half bath. Just look at that detail on that thing. Look at the, the detail on that backsplash. Yeah, it's solid surface yeah. countertops all the way throughout. You got the man's bidet back here in the back corner, if that's what you use it for. Most people use it just to clean the toilet out, but if you want to use it for that, you can. If you're man enough, you're from the south, it'll work. The race mentioned the solid surface all the way around. That, again, another place people could cheat, right? Dealers exactly. and manufacturers will put it just in the kitchen, and you'll see it in the kitchen. You'll assume it's everywhere else, and it's not. It's, it's right. going to be... It, what you'd end up having, Anthony, is it's going to be just like, it'll be this color, but this is solid surface, but then it'll be a hard plastic or something, yeah, or some mica or from something, that's yeah, the way it. back. But it looks like that. Uh, but that's a good point. Uh, another thing that they did this year on the Phaeton that they didn't do last year, on the central vac system, last year they only had the one where you could plug in the hose. Now they've integrated the kick plate where you can sit here, sweep up to it, Cut it on, sweep up to it, and it'll suck it in. It's your, it's your power dustpan. Yeah. So it's kind of like what the Allegro bus has, but they did it this year on the Phaeton. Now, one of the beauty things about the Paraglide chassis, you've got to see it, feel it, touch it to appreciate it. Now, I'm going to stand right out of the way. If you look at everybody else that I was showing you and other models, when you go back to that back bath bathroom, you got about a six or eight inch step that you got to get into. That is the first thing I noticed, Race. That's funny you, you're saying that. The first thing I noticed when I walked back here is, hey, there's no, there's no step. I don't have to step up to get in the bathroom. I exactly. walk straight into the bathroom. It's a flat floor all the way back to the back bathroom. Plus, you get a big back bathroom, giant king size bed, lots of room to get around. Uh, TV's over here, in motion satellite dish, uh, the three 15,000 BTU ACs with heat pumps down to about Oh, 38 to 40 degrees. You can use your heat pumps on top before you even have to use the aqua. Yeah. Ceiling fan. The thing that I like about the 40 foot, most 40 footers when you get into, you have one sink in the rear bath if you have the single bath up front. You still have the two sinks. Now, if it's like my wife, my wife's going to be right here in the middle and take up all of it. So that's why that's my <laughs> bath in the middle. Apparently, you know what I'm talking well, about. Well, I mean, I, 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 I know you don't spend a lot of time in front of the mirror. No, definitely. <laughs> uh, you got the Splendid stacked washer dryer. There's so much storage back there. Great storage space, built-in safe, place for shoes up on top. And the one thing that Tiffin has done to help integrate, because you got the engine in the back, guys. There's an air vent inside the closet. So if you cut the air conditioner on up here, you're actually going to be putting cool air in the back because the engine does radiate heat. Yeah. No matter how well you insulate it, it always insulates heat. So they put the air conditioner vent in the back that will help knock that down. Look at this, guys. That is a giant shower. Exactly. You walk into some of these motorhomes, Anthony, and you got to go back yeah, to the me, 70s, let me, let me, and you got to have that soap on a rope. Let me jump in the shower. Watch this, guys. All right, I'm, I'm six foot two, give or take, and... Yeah, I got a ton of space still left in here. Are you sure you're in here with me? Uh, we both <laughs> could, but no thank you. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> but, no, it's just great. And then this one, again, you've got the electric flush toilet with the macerator that pumps it up to the front and then drops it in. It's just a great, great unit. I mean, from the mocha wood to the ceramic tile floor, the Splendid washer dryer, the three air conditioners, the bigger TVs, the king-size bed, uh, induction cooktop, Aqua hot system, 10K diesel generator. Uh, I this one even has the mobile avoidance collision center on it. Man, that's so many things on this motor. And they've totally redesigned the dash area for this year. There again, when you come up to the front, look how big your screen is now, Anthony, that's compared a, to what that, it was last that, year. Yeah, that is a, that, that's, that's so fantastic. Because a lot of times you get these backup cameras, and the screen's so small, you, what, you can't even use it. Exactly. You can't even see what's behind you. And then... Like I said, new for this year is the, the digital dash, and I just I can't get over that. 
Uh, actually, if you sit right there, it really does feel like you're in a cockpit because you've got all the gauges, everything around you. Uh, Four-point automatic self-leveling jacks. Uh, sliding window on the side. Dash fans. I mean, this coach, guys, th there's a reason this is number one in America for over 14 years in a row. It's because it's the best in America. If you don't fall in love with this motorhome, I, I, I don't know what I don't know what to show you. Oh, yeah. Ever since they came out with the IH, I believe it was in 16 or 17, this has been their number one seller. Uh, you can't beat it from the flat floor. When you walk in here, like Anthony said, that's the first thing that jumps yeah. at you. You don't see that hump. But, guys, this is the number one selling diesel in America. I hope I've shown you enough reasons why. Come out and experience the difference for yourself. I'd like to invite you out to Vought RV. We're at 5301 Airport Freeway. We're open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 on Saturdays. Come out and see us, and I guarantee you guys, we'll try to put you part of our family, which will become part of Tiffin's family. Thanks, Thanks guys. we got another one coming up here in just a second, guys. Hey, guys, whether you're camping off the grid or you just want a backup generator for your motorhome, there's nothing better than these Onan 2500 generators we have on sale right now. Guys, these things are normally $799.99 right now. $639.99. Go to silverbulletboutique.com and get your generator today. Okay, guys, right now we're going to take a look at the Phaeton 44OH. This coach is on a Paraglide chassis. It has a 450 Cummings engine, independent front suspension. Guys, the thing that's brand new for this year on the tag axle Tiffins, this coach has a steering tag axle. So when you go to back this thing in and turn, you're not dragging the tires. They're going to turn with the coach. you got a 60-degree wheel cut. Guys, if you're looking for a tag axle motorhome, Tiffin's a place to buy it, but you got to get it from us at Vought RV. you got the Paraglide chassis has a seamless slide-outs. You still have the great storage bins underneath. And at this particular coach has two slide outs underneath where it'll go on either side of the coach. Full body paint. Guys, I want to tell you again because it's very important on the warranty on a Tiffin. One year on the coach, three years on the paint, five years versus delamination, 10 years on the unibody structure. Best warranty hands down in the industry. There's a reason they give you the warranty. They put the time, effort, and money into the product before you ever get it. That's where your water tanks are. Look at the beautiful paint job on this. Look how it's got the kind of smoke effect going back in here. This coach also has the tire pressure monitor system, which is new for this year. The other neat thing, and I just learned this myself, guys, you can buy a kit that will go on your tow vehicle and it will sync up and register and show you on the dash. And that's offered through Tiffin. And that's fantastic. I didn't even know they had it until about an hour ago. So we're all learning together. There again, we come back to the back. It's going to be the exact same thing. 10,000 pounds towing. The ladder on the going up to the roof, that's a two-piece ladder. Power cord, reel, DEF, ping valves, auto chuck for air, Michelin tires, Alco aluminum wheels. Guys, you really don't understand what the difference is with having a steering tag axle versus the other until you drive this. You talking about smooth as glass and easy to get into and get out of parking places? With the steering tag axle on here, you're going to think you're in a 38 or a 40-foot motorhome instead of almost 45. There's your Aqua Hot, and this is the 450D. So this is one of their premier Aqua Hot systems. You come back up, and the same exact same thing. Water hose reel. Water filter for all the coach. Monitor gauges outside where you can check and see. Outside shower. Low point drains. All centrally located. Gerard window awning package all the way around it. 
There again, your extended cycle batteries. And let me show you one thing up here that makes it nice that I'd shown you on another one earlier. But right in here on the sidewall, you've got the battery disconnects. You can sit there and cut these house batteries off right there. So if you're not going to use it, that'll stop your batteries from draining down and give them, make them last longer. 10K diesel generator. Fill it up from either side. Fuel fill from either side. One tank. One piece windshield. Molded seamless fiberglass roof on the top. Three 15,000 BTU ACs with heat pumps. In motion satellite. Solar panels. Mobile avoidance collision center. Side view cameras, backup camera. This coach has got it all. 13 foot, 2 inches tall. All your extra storage is in the basement. Come inside and let me show you your next home. Here we are again. Guys, new for this year is the linen cabinets. And these have the luster sheen on it. What do you think of that, Anthony? First thing I noticed when I walked in here, these cabinets are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the sheen on them is beautiful. Um, they, they, the, the, the cut and style is very contemporary. It looks very modern. But, boy, you can just tell the, the craftsmanship that went into these cabinets. I, I mean, I can't even, you know, multi-million dollar custom homes aren't going to have custom cabinets of this level. Doesn't it look clean and smooth and fresh it, when you walk it in? It's, it it's, It brightens the coach up. It's so bright in here, which, you know, Everyone knows, the, you know, the lighter the color inside, the, the the bigger it feels, and that's something we've always struggled with in this industry. Is 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 the dark colors make the coaches feel dark and drab, and that you don't want to feel dark and drab when you're inside. Oh no, your definitely home. not. Not when you're in your home. The other thing is on this particular coach, and he just showed you the couch on this coach with the 44 foot is a longer couch. Yeah, I noticed that. You too. could lay in either way, up with your head up there by the sofa or down below, uh, and that's a height of bed. Queen size high to bed with a blow up mattress. You've got the two power recliners again here. The heated tile floor. This is kind of the wood plank looking floor. Yeah, it, 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 I, I'm surprised it's not wood. It, it looks just like wood. And it gives a good contrast to the wood. It's, it's, a, it? it's a great contrast. You know, it, it, there is a point where you can get too light inside. And if, if everything is white, it's going to feel like you're in a hospital. And that contrast of the floor versus the cabinets and the, and the fabrics is, is really beautiful. Oh, that. And then you get to where you're at, the countertops. Uh, the solid surface, the Corian, the induction cooktop. You've got the pull-out tray for more counter space. Well, let me pull it on out so you get the full benefit. You lose nothing in drawer depth. You even get a little... <laughs> it almost goes all the way across the motor. Huh? I know. you got to be careful. You'll bring somebody <laughs> yeah, down with it. You'll knock somebody down. Is that dishwasher too, Race? It is. Actually, which they just started doing it on the Phaeton a couple of years ago. I've not been a big proponent of it on the Phaeton because it's more of a price point coach. It's America's number one selling motor home. But I've had more and more people request it all the time, so now we're doing it for our stock units. And now that I'm doing it, it's, it's a no-brainer. You, you almost got to do it. you got to give the people what they want. And it's, and it's really a pretty big, pretty good-sized dishwasher. It I've is. seen dishwashers and RVs before that will barely hold a, a, a dessert plate. Now, with, the, with this, what I like about this, you can either fold it up like that and use it for the induction. And if your pots are too big, all you got to do is um, pull that on each, each spring on each side and take it completely off. And then as you can see, you got the big window in the back on this one yeah. too. You still Very have the nice. pull-up electric. You have the heated tile floor. And Anthony, open up one of those cabinets, stick your arm in there and show them how deep that is well, to the back get, wall. Let's get, let's get one that's empty here. Well, let's try this next one here. Yeah, look at that, man. And I, I, I am not a short guy, and that's that's about that's about three quarters of my arm going inside that cabinet. That is a deep that cabinet. That is a huge cabinet. And it's tall. You can yeah. actually use it for storage, yeah. for space. You have the giant lift up TV that's back here. Here, I'll pop it up. You got the sound bar that's above it. You also have the TV in the front. People say, What do I need the TV in the front for? You gotta remember, guys, you got an in motion satellite. So as you're going down the highway, you get in some places like uh, you get the other side of Abilene going towards uh, El Paso. You only get about two or three radio stations. So if you've got your in-motion satellite on, you could have it on, put it on the music channels, pick them up, and that's what you've that's, got. That's a great idea. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation. 
you got the three ducted ACs. But look at the wood finish on the inside, how they trim out the inside of the phaetons on the ceiling. Well, the, the thing about Tiffin is they just don't, they don't skip, you know, and that's, that's, you know, I think Rage and I have talked about this a time or two before. The, a lot of these manufacturers, they will, they will skip in spots. They will, they will make something real nice here, and then you can see where they kind of peel, pulled back in other areas, and you just don't see that on a Tiffin motorhome. You don't. You know, it's like the... I can't remember who said it, but you know, you can put a lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Yeah, exactly right. Guys, this ain't a pig. This is a Tiffin motorhome. You can sit through it, come out to my lot. I'll put you in a coach, lock you up, let you sit there for an hour, two hours. Go through it, tear it apart. You're not going to find a bunch of stuff wrong with them. These are quality built from the ground up. The other beautiful thing on this coach that I really love is I pointed out on another one, but you got the flat floor that goes all the way back. But since this is a tag axle, your flat floor extends into the closet. So you can actually take clothes out of the washer dryer and not be on a hump and be able to fold them and put yeah. them up back there. Or if you get in big trouble, you can go sleep in that closet. Yeah, that's uh, probably where I'd I'm be sure, most I'm of the sure, time. I'm sure you've done it before. I, I promise you. <laughs> and it won't be the last time either. <laughs> Let me show you some things back here as we go back. You still got the king size bed with all the USB ports and the electrical up on top. You still got the electrical plug up here. And I, I just think that's genius to have that up there. Well, Not more, everybody has a CPAP, but if you do, and more it's and more, great. More and more people are asking about that. You know, that's that's, some, that's more and more people are spending longer amounts of time in their RV, and, and you got to have your CPAP machine with you. I just talked to a customer. They're coming off a 62-day trip. Yeah. You know, they're going to come in. They said they're going to get a few things addressed on their coach, and then they're headed back out. Mm -hmm. But you got to pull out pantry. Look right here, guys. When you're on this Phaeton, pull out drawer in here. I like these pocket doors, too. Soft-closed doors. These pocket doors make a huge difference, I think, too, in just space. You know, you don't have the traditional swinging doors that can really take up spots in your motor. Yeah, and the, these, I said you just pull down, and it locks in. Bye, Anthony. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but even up above your bed, like I said, you can sit here and turn this down. You can have all this off up in the front, light this up in the back. The thing I like about it is you can also, if you hear something, you get up in the morning, you got control panels on either side of the bed. Makes it really nice, Anthony. You can sit yeah. right here and do that. You also got a gen start back here. Yeah. So. so if you're out somewhere and you lost power, you don't have to get up in the middle of the night and try to go up to the front. You can reach right across here. But the beauty about this is you can have the panel light where it's on right now. You get ready to go to bed, you can have it look like that. It'll be completely blank, mm -hmm. so you don't have any light on you. We'll get back here, and it's going to be... The same thing. You've got the big, big shower. Big shower, yeah. Giant shower. Yeah, big shower. The electric flush toilet. But here's what I was talking about, guys. You step in here to your closet. I'm actually in the closet. So the nice thing about this is you got your washer and dryer right here. You can take stuff out of your washer dryer. You've got a little place back here. You can set your clothes on. Socks, underwear, stuff like that. Fold them. Put them in all your drawers. And if you notice, guys, soft closed doors. So you can do that. Fold everything up. You've got great storage up here. All your fuses used to be out here or underneath the bed. Now they're integrated right here where you can get to them real easy. Guys, this is the Tiffin Phaeton. Seven-foot ceiling inside. Ceiling fan. Heated tile floor. Steering tag axle. Power glide chassis. Independent front suspension. Tire pressure monitor system on it. And like I said, don't forget, guys, and remind us, a new option that I just found out, you can buy the kit that will go on your tow vehicle, and it will register right on your uh, dash with these. It's a win-win situation when you're talking about a Phaeton, Anthony. Yeah. It's just hands down. The new linen color with the luster sheen, I flat out absolutely love. Yeah, I think I, I, I challenge anyone to come look at this and not love it. You know, it's just such an incredibly beautiful motorhome. You still got the Maytag refrigerator. You got the options you can do up here for a booth, Dynet computer workstation. It's kind of whatever you want. Yeah. We have many. If we don't have exactly what we have on the lot, guys, 
we've got color boards. We've got the order forms. We can set rut down with you, and any one of our professional salespeople can sit down and go over the options with you, tell you why you need this, why you don't need this, or everything, or explain the differences. We've got the colors for the outside, the inside. There's nothing we can't do to help you out because this is your investment. And a lot of the, and a lot of these floor plans, we've got 360 walkthroughs. You can just we can actually make you feel like you're inside the motorhome because right now it's hard to see a lot of these coaches. There we don't have a lot of them on the lot, so almost it's, impossible. Yeah. So when you come in, you're like, I want to look at that 44 Phaeton. Yeah, we we don't blame you if you don't want to order it without walking through it first. But with with some of these 3D walkthroughs we have, we can make you sit down in there and feel like you're right inside the motorhome. Yeah, and then this one you've got the Mobile Avoiding Collision Center which that will beep at you and tell you you're out of your lane. It'll also tell you that you're exceeding the speed limit, uh, which I never do. <laughs> uh, watch, watch out for his nose growing. Yeah. You got the automatic self-leveling jacks, and there again we go back with the giant uh, camera yeah, view. Yeah, big, big rear view camera. These seats, driver and passenger, turn all the way around. The passenger seat has a power footrest. So when you turn that around, you've got, a lot of people that can sit right here just for entertainment yeah, it's, like, it's like having three recliners in here. Yes, sir. But this is a great coach, guys. This is the Tiffin Phaeton 44OH. Uh, it's on our lot at Vought RV, 5301 Airport Freeway. Come out and see us, guys. Let us see if we can show you why. This is the number one selling diesel pusher in America. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Race. I'm Mike with Dish and Dish Outdoors, and we're dedicated for the RV space offering HD in any antenna configuration for either pole behind trailers or all the way up to big class A diesel pushers. The beauty about DISH is, is we offer not only HD in small configuration, but all the way up to the large antenna. Along with that though, is we have the pay as you go programming. Pay as you go is allows you to basically have programming and 30 day increments. You're not locked into a long term contract and you can easily either call into our dedicated call center or what you can do is actually use on a mobile device, uh, actually turn on the system on and off when you want to. The other benefit that we have are great options for whether you want a one TV, a two TV, multiple TV or in motion solution with our antenna uh, providers, whether King or Weingart. Some of the products that we offer such as the workhorse right here is the Wally receiver. This receiver has the ability to not only give you recordability, but giving you Wi-Fi applications so that you can use that for watching Netflix. And even this little dongle right here that allows you to marry up your off-air HD programming with your DISH HD programming so you have that in one guide. The other thing is, is we offer a radio frequency universal remote control. This remote allows you to put this receiver hidden in a cabinet, go in the back bedroom, change your channels, your uh, volume, and things like that. It also has Google Assist, which enables you to go find the Braveheart movie in the guide if you have a Wi-Fi dongle and a Wi-Fi signal. Along with that, we also have a remote locator button on front of the receiver. You hit that, this remote will beep and flash. This is a great... Uh, one room operation that we have, it self installs, it sets up in 10 minutes. Uh, this system you can buy as a bundle with the antenna and the receiver, universal remote control, sets up in 10 minutes, great for you to pull behind or even go into football games at tailgates. If you want to do a two room solution, we have a wireless solution for you. These wireless HDMI dongles simply hook up to your receiver in your front room, then you take the second HDMI extender and put it in the back bedroom. When you're watching TV in the front room and you're done and you want to go to your back bedroom, you simply take the DISH radio frequency universal remote and you're able to change channels where this extender will broadcast the signal to this receiver. Along with that, we have a brand new receiver right here, which is the Hopper system. This is the Rolls Royce of receivers. It's perfect for people that have big diesel pushers or fifth wheels that have multiple TVs. So you marry that up with the Weingard Traveler antenna. And the beauty of this, it's all a wireless system. So you actually have one drop down from the Traveler 
to the hopper system, to an ethernet connector, and then you have these wireless joeys that are set up in various areas of the RV, whether outside or in the back bedroom or in the kitchen, this will transmit a wireless signal. Now in this hopper system, it has everything that you can imagine. It's got two terabytes of memory, which is good for 500 hours of HD programming, a remote locator, it has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi, it has 16 tuners in it. So the nice thing about this system right here, particularly for like a Tiffin unit, you can hook up multiple TVs and everybody who is in that coach can watch all three of our satellites that we have in orbit. So, Again, for DISH, what we're offering is solutions on any antenna configuration from a single TV to a two-room to a multi-room is, is DISH with dedicated call centers in the U.S. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. We really, really appreciate your time today. Next, we're going to see some elegant coaches that are going to get you where you're going in luxurious style. Haley and Jerry are back to show us the Allegro bus. The Allegro bus is loaded, loaded, loaded with features. On the exterior, this is, this is powered by 450 uh, horsepower diesel. It's a Cummins engine. The chassis itself is, is unique in the fact that it's built by Tiffin Motor Homes. This is called the Tiffin Power Glide chassis. You can actually see the T and the I there in the center of the wheel. That, uh, that is part of the Tiffin, determines it's part of the Tiffin family. Uh, the Allegro bus. The heavier chassis, it's designed to carry more weight than any of the others. Um, longer motorhomes, we build this up to a 45 foot. This particular motorhome, since we designed the chassis on it, we build the chassis, we do, we do some pretty cool things. Uh, beginning with the height of this chassis, this is a lot taller, a lot taller storage area than what we've seen on any of the others. This is called the XSP. On the back, we'll look at those letters, but the XS stands for extra storage. It's eight inches higher than the others. What's the benefits to that? Well, it's easy to get into, and obviously the additional storage that it allows us. In this, in this particular bay, See how easy that works? The freezer unit is a feature inside the bay, in the front bay on the passenger side. Slides out on the slide out tray. Very easy to operate. You can load that with fish and have great meals to come. One of the new features for 21 on the exterior is a stainless steel trim molding along the bottom of the coach. Man, it just sets it off. There's nothing else like it. When you see this, you know you're, you're living in luxury. This is, it's beauty at its finest. Storage, 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 here we go again. In the slide out trays, in this Allegro bus model, we don't even reach down to to open the slide out. I'm simply pushing the button on the side of the door to operate the slide. More storage, another electric slide tray. Another cool feature that we, that we have on the Allegro buses is the LED lighting underneath of the slide outs. All the slide outs have the LED lighting. In addition to that, we have the blue LED lighting underneath the coach. So when we're sitting outside uh, with, the, with the neighbors under the campfire, we have that unique beauty going on in our coach. <clears throat> Continuing on, water, we have water, uh, water tank access in this storage area, as well as the water tanks. One thing that's very, very unique that I don't know anyone else is doing it, but uh, because Tiffin owns our own fiberglass company, 
we do something in our slide outs on the Allegro bus that is awesome. Most slide outs are going to be built in sections. They'll have a wall, a floor, a roof, and another wall. And that means they have trim molding in all these sections. But at Tiffin, we mold these in a fiberglass mold. They're one piece. This is built like a spa or a swimming pool. So what does that mean? It means it's not going to leak and it's also durable. It's not going to squeak after we put about 40,000 miles on this motorhome. We're not going to have to worry about the squeaks and rattles that you commonly find on the slide outs after, after time, after a period of time. But all of the four slide outs are going to be built in a mold. You can tell the rigidity, the strength. 315 tires on the Allegro bus. What does that mean? That means they, they handle more weight capacity. You can, you can haul it in this motorhome right here. It has it. Access air panel or air access in the back. So these come with a 25 foot coiled air hose. We can hook the uh, air hose up to the back. We can air up our beach toys or whatever. We have two, uh, two air outputs, one back here and one in the front. Also a drain for our, our ping tanks, which is part of the air ride and air brake system. The Tiffin Power Glide chassis, this is part of the electronic system. The multiplex wiring is a standard on the, uh, on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis and inside the motorhome. But on the, one of the pluses on the multiplex, it uses about half the amount of wiring and it uses half the amount of connections, which means a lot less chance for any type of short uh, in now or in the future. Batteries have the cutoff switches like we saw earlier. The access to the rear engine This is the larger of the engines that we've seen. One thing that's missing back here is the radiator. We'll see it, it's on the side. We actually, this engine is large. It's an L9 is, is the distinguishing uh, characteristic of this engine. And it's large enough that the radiator right here has to be mounted on the side. It's too large to be mounted on the rear like other motorhomes. So this cooling package is designed for the big engine there. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. This access is for our DEF. Helps the fuel mileage on, the, uh, on all the diesel motorhomes. One thing that we do that's pretty unique on, uh, on our chassis is we use a hydraulic fan and what that simply means is we do not run the belt that the others do around the pulleys and all. It, what we do, we separate that. And by not running that through the engine, it doesn't take as much of the power. Basically, we're giving you about a half more mile per gallon than the others do. It's pretty neat in a motorhome when you, when you travel the miles and you're looking at mileage. In this compartment, this is our storage for the uh, electrical cord, 30-foot power cord. We simply pull it out and plug it in. When we get ready to go, instead of manhandling the cord, we push the button. And with the push of a button, we see the, pa uh, the cord reel up on the reel. reel. Third slide out, fourth slide out. Ah, here we have a new feature. This is called AquaHot 450D. The AquaHot is what heats our water and gives us our heat inside the coach. This runs off diesel or electricity. This coach happens to have a 150 gallon tank diesel. It's the largest fuel tank uh, that we offer. So when you get to your destination, if you wanna park for months at a time, You've got a, if you fill your tank with 150 gallons of diesel, 
You have enough diesel to last. And by the way, we'll talk more about this aqua hot system and how it operates in, in the interior there. In our wet bay, we have some of the similar things that we've seen before. Um, one new thing right here is the water hose reel, similar to what we saw a moment ago. It has the push button that will reel it up when it's time to store it. The filtration system is a standard. Um, we have a, a little knob here that we can turn and adjust the heat in the basement area that comes from the aqua hot. Slide tray, again, the electric. We saw the same thing over there. It does operate both, uh, both sides, just like we saw in the manual style. Oh, and here we have the power, the batteries. The batteries and the, hy the hydraulics for the jacks. So the batteries, you can see they're, they're very tall in stature. Um, we have six batteries, these are for the house. We have separate batteries for the engine on the other side, but these are the big, bigger, larger um, six volt batteries there. And then in the front is our electrical panel with the, uh, as I was talking about earlier, the air hose right here. So we have an air hookup in the front and an air hookup in the rear, so either way. Pretty neat, a little feature that's hidden back in here. If you ever have an issue with these slide outs going in and out, and hopefully you never will, but if you do, there's a little button here that's a override button. You can actually, you can actually run the slides in or out. So we, we try to think of everything to give you a, a pleasant journey. We want your, your trip to be enjoyable and take all of the, all the hassle away. So. All right, moving right along. Let's go join Haley and see what's going on inside. Hey, Haley. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Good, 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 good. Isn't right. she a beauty? Every time I walk in here, I'm just wowed by the beauty uh, of the motorhome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Haley. Of course, you too. So, so man. What do you think? The first thing I notice when I walk in here is just all these, these the, lighting. the lighting. Um, the accent lighting, the lighting under the cabinets, um, and the ceiling, and these creases up here. Um, it's beautiful. There's a ton of beautiful. lighting in there. And the floor just reflects the lighting also. You know these lightings, uh, all the lighting in here is LED. You That's know what awesome. that means? It means I can touch it. It's cool to the touch. In the old days, not that long ago, we didn't have... LED lighting, it wasn't available. Right. And each one of these lights, if we had all these on, we'd warm it up 12, 15 degrees in here. So it's pretty cool. The LED has allowed us to do so many things. One of what you just mentioned, putting lighting throughout this coast. Right, right, it, and it lasts a, forever also. And I tell you, everyone tells us, it's like storage. People tell us all the time, you can never put too many lights in one, and you can never put too much storage in one. So it's a great thing you pointed that out. We do have the indirect lighting, as you said, above, above the ceiling decorative areas and all throughout. So this motorhome has three air conditioners, 15,000 with heat pumps. And what's really cool about, we called this system, we named it Extraordinaire. We kind of took off on the Extraordinary. It is Extraordinary. Right. This system, it's awesome. And we're built in the south. We're in Red Bay, Alabama. It's hot, just much like it is here in Texas. So we really know what heat is, and we pay special attention when we're designing air conditioning systems, uh, and which is what we did here. So a few years ago, when we, when we were ready, when we decided we needed to design a new system, we, uh, we talked to some of the engineers out there. And what they told us, they said, get rid of all the hot spots, meaning put in more return air mm -hmm. and put more cold air exhaust through here. So how this operates, everything on the passenger side, every one of these, and there's about 15 of them, they're all cold air exhaust. And everything on the driver's side, again, about 15, they're return air. So this thing actually has a circulation effect like your home does. So the cold air comes down and the hot air 
is uh, removed. Wow. So we've taken out taken out most of or all of the uh, the hot spots inside here. So it's a lot easier to cool this coach than it is some of the others. Even though it's a big 40-foot coach, it's somewhat easier to cool. <clears throat> all right. So how do you like the uh, – I know it's the shades here. How do you like our shades, the solar shades here? You see they're different. Yeah, they are. They are from the different. other. They're very decorative. They're cool-looking. They're very yeah, attractive. I really like those. So Yeah, and they're through the whole coach, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good eye. Um, one other of the features that Tiffin is using more of, it's the living room TV mm -hmm. across from the theater seating. Well, so, that's all, it's also a pocket TV. It is. So yeah, let's so. say that, you know what, if we were, if we own this coach and we had people and we had people over and we mm -hmm. were not watching TV, we're doing exactly what you're doing here. Let's, let's use the window. Let's let that natural light in. Mm -hmm. So, so lower that and, and completely get it out of, out of eyesight here. Easy done. Well, and it's great for when you're on the road, you just tuck it away and go. Easily done with simply the push of a button. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Check out the uh, recliners, uh, not recliners, the theater seats while you're here. These things are made for a king and queen. You found the button to operate them. That's great. So we will, yeah. We, oh, we don't have our external power on. We don't. So <laughs> easy to do when we when we have our power or our inverter turned on. Uh, by yeah, the way, very inverter, comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable. It's hard to get up now after sitting here. <laughs> so our inverter is a 2,800 watt. So we've grown in size here on this coach. We have a few more features, so we need a little bit more inverter power. So we we do have the expanding island or the pull-out kitchen, just like we've seen in some of the Phaetons. Right. It's yeah, easy that's to awesome operate for, for prep space. Uh, it just gives us that I much that. more. And by the way, I mean, look at the counter space as it is, mm -hmm. and then we get so much more. And also to make our cleanup duties a little easier, the wa uh, dishwasher. Yeah, and it's with the, the custom cabinet as well. Isn't it cool? Yeah. A lot of people don't even see it because it is. It's custom designed and built, so you don't even really notice that it's a dishwasher. So you see this in a lot of the higher-end homes. Yes. Their sinks. Check out the size. Beautiful sinks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stainless steel large sinks with the grates in the bottom. They're heavy. They are. This is heavy. So and then the dispenser. stove. What, what about the stove top? <clears throat> ah, this one. I'm glad you mentioned that. This one is a chef's dream. This is an upgrade again. I've said it before, but Vought upgrades their motorhomes. They they do so much. I love it that they uh, upgrade them like they do. This is a Wolf induction cooktop. Um, if you're a chef, if you're into cooking. You know who Wolf is. <laughs> the same company that manufactures Wolf builds Sub-Zero refrigerators. A lot of people have heard of the Sub-Zeros. Right. They're very expensive. So is the Wolf, uh, the Wolf cooktop. So what? why is it so much better than the rest? Because it's uh, very articulate in the way that you can adjust the temperature. It just works beautifully. Right. The people that own them, they brag on them. So, and this this motorhome comes with the, the pots and pans that go with this, right? It does. Any yeah. it, all the induction, uh, all the induction cooktops come with a set of the pots and pans that are to be used with that mo That's with great. this motorhome right here. That is great. The Whirlpool convection microwave, a design that's a little higher grade than what we've seen in the past. Control panels mm -hmm. throughout. Um, the refrigerator. We have ice water in the door in the refrigerator. We have a positive lock that we add to this just to make sure that when we're running down the road, we're not going to. Nothing's uh, going to fall out. Yeah. Yeah. No accidental spill. LG brand. Everything we've seen so far is high, mm -hmm. high name brands. <coughs> ah. And then the big pull out pantry. Floor Ooh. to ceiling pantry. Yes. What about that, man? Yeah, that's great. That's a couple of weeks worth of uh, groceries. Yes, it sure is. Now, another. Another feature on this pantry that's pretty awesome. We're parked. Our engine's not running. But say we're, we're, we started up. We're running down the road. What we've got is an automatic lock when our key is on and our engine is running. So if we tried to open this, it's going to be locked. We have to press this button on the top to disengage the lock and allow us to pull it out while we're running. Yeah, that's a great, great Neat feature. Deal. Easy to use. Our half bath in the center of the coach with a porcelain toilet. 
Yeah, and it's got storage behind the the uh, mirrors there also. And the window. The window is something we it's it's pretty pretty neat. We've asked we've been asked for the windows in the bath forever. And we we tend to do that. A little spray nozzle on the side to help clean it out and it's easy to operate. The spider. Yeah, that's a huge panel. That's Control the big panel. one. That one's easier to see than some of the others. We just grew in size. You can you notice that. So the spider will allow us to control the lights. The battery power tells us where we're at. Temperature, all three of the air conditioners, the aqua hot that we talked about earlier, and our floor heat. This unit is equipped with a two-zone floor heat. So it, not only does it have the heating, the heat uh, pumps in the three air conditioners, but it has uh, heat in the floor. So if we turn these on, they're noiseless. Yeah. And that is awesome. great for, for a trip in the, up in the mountains or in the oh, winter. Man. When you're running it's, down the road and sometimes the heat doesn't work as well as you want it to, when you turn the floor heat on, on that solves everything. In for addition sure. to that, we also have the Aqua Hot, which is the heater. That's the best heating system on a motorhome that's ever, ever been. It's great. Um, you don't have the three inch ducting in an Aqua Hot system, so it allows us to put the heat ducts where we want, not where they'll fit. So it's pretty neat. You, you can heat or cool this motorhome extremely well. King bed is a standard in our coaches. Solid surface. When we get into this price point, we're going to see more solid surface. Mm -hmm. We have CNC routers throughout the plant, so we can cut these to the design, um, the design that uh, is required. This one, you can yeah. see it's pretty neat. <laughs> pretty nice. Yeah, that's also got the tuck TV, the hideaway TV in here. It comes up. An additional fireplace a in fireplace. the rear. fireplace. Yep. So, on the doors, the doors, self-closing. So, the self-closing hinges, same thing with the drawers. You just have to get them to a certain point, and they do the, the rest. The easy close. Oh, it's very man. nice. Check out this, the his and hers bath and in the rear Those bath. sinks are beautiful. This is, of course, the bath and a half. We saw the half bath, and here we are in, in the master bath. This, they are beautiful, aren't they? The washer dryer, of course, and then the wardrobe. Another feature that we have in here, when we get up into this motorhome, this level of motorhome, we're probably going to have a few bucks laying around. Yeah. So we can store them back here in our safe. Also, we have a wall safe built in. So it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. awesome. And those beautiful LED lights in the closet. The I know I will great. definitely appreciate that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. The shower. Oh, man. Just a touch of class here. Yeah, just look at that seat. a touch of class. You like the seat? Yeah, I do. It's beautiful. If, it's, uh, if it happens to be in the way, you can simply raise it up to remove it. So mm -hmm. if we need a little more space in the shower, we have it. Again, the toilet, porcelain toilet. It's a push-button operation which makes it simple, very easy. All of our vents are going to be finished out with handcrafted wood, just mm -hmm. like the rest of it. The whole thing is handcrafted. so It is luxury, for sure. I like that. One it's luxury, I, for sure. Yes. One thing I noticed that we haven't pointed out before okay. is this um, vacuum down oh, here. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Absolutely. So this vacuum, you notice it's centrally located. And it has a 30-foot cord. So in order to operate this vacuum, you simply lift the flap, plug it in, and that automatically starts the vacuum to working. Okay? So then we have different attachment heads that we can use on here. So if we want to vacuum the dust out of the yeah. windows or up high, we can do so. But what's even better, one of the neater features on this, um, it's tile, right? The whole thing's tile. So when we... Uh, when we, when we sweep this up, and we'll have to do that, you right. know. We track we dirt in from the campsite. So when we sweep it up, what do we do? We get a dustpan, sweep in the dustpan. But with this one, instead of a dustpan, we kick this over, sweep it right into mm -hmm. the little floor area. No dustpan is required. It's an auto dustpan feature is what it is. So, and then we simply Let's close it push back. it back wow. to turn it off. That is awesome. It's pretty neat. It's a... Man, features deluxe in this in this coach. All right, so I think that's it. I think we covered most of it or yeah. some of it. Really, 
There's a hundred more. There's so many features in this unit. It's gorgeous. I hope you come out and see us at Vought and, and see these coaches. They're, they're beautiful. Anthony said earlier, he said, the folks at Tiffin are passionate about these coaches, and we are. It's hard not to be. It's hard not to be when you have a product like this. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> Hey guys, when you're out on the road, you need a way to access all those great television programs you don't want to miss while you're traveling. The Dish Playmaker is a great way to do that. On those rainy days when you're stuck inside and you need a movie to watch, use the Dish Playmaker. We've got these things on sale right now. Guys, normally this Dish Playmaker is $349.99. We've got them on sale right now for $279.99. Just go to silverbulletboutique.com and pick up yours today. Okay, guys, what we're going to look at right now is the granddaddy of them all. I've been waiting for this coach all day long. There's a cliche out there that says that you can't take your home with you. Guys, you haven't seen the 45 Allegro bus, 45 OPP. It's a man-sized home on wheels. Full body paint. 315 Michelin tires. Alcoa aluminum wheels. New for this year, the stainless steel rocker trim that goes all the way around it. You still got your refrigerator slash freezer here on the bottom. You can put your cold beer in it or put your bluebell ice cream in it. As you can tell by my manly physique, I don't drink or eat either one of those, but you can put it in there if you want. You got the power slide out trays. And guys, the nice thing about this coach is you have two of them. That's an option on it. You can bring them in or out. The good thing about this is you can open up this door on the other side and there's a power control over there. You can bring it out that side. Tiffin also supplies everybody on their diesel pushers. You can see right there, there's extra serpentine belt. That's one of the only things that if it goes out could strand you. You've got one there, so you don't have to worry about it. The motorhome also has the under slide out lighting and the basement lighting. We just don't have it on. Your TV. There again, LG with the sound bar, and it really makes it important because of the USB ports on the side. Guys, if you run your hands over a leg robust motorhome, you're not going to feel any paint lines. Very, very well built. Remember the warranty, guys. One year on the coach, three years on the paint, five years DLAM, 10 years unibody structure, three year 36,000 mile on the chassis, and a five year 100,000 mile warranty on the engine. The generator is going to carry you three year or I believe it's 250 hours. So great, great warranty. Best warranty, I think, in the industry. More storage. Don't forget, guys, you're going to get a shot of this whenever we leave the steering tag axle. If you've never seen that or felt one or driven one, it's a must have, guys. You're not going to be pulling the tires around. It gives you a better degree turn. You got a 60 degree turn. We're inside this building. I did a U-turn in here. It's awesome. Here's your chassis batteries. And if you'll notice right here, we've got the battery disconnect. You can turn this and it'll kill all the power to your engine. You just gotta make sure to cut it back on. It stops all your power here so you don't have to worry about running the batteries down so much. There again, you got a 10,000 pound towing on this unit. You got your DEF fluid located on the rear of the coach on the driver's side. Dual fuel fuel, guys, and a 150 gallon fuel tank. Awesome, awesome storage facilities for you. That'll let you get on down the road a little bit. You come over here to your water hookups, power cord reel, power water hose reel, outside shower, tank flush, Water filtration system for the entire coach. All centrally located right here on Tiffin's Power Glide chassis. Slim, seamless slides. And I want to show you something. Look up underneath this coach right here. Look at these braces for this slide out. Tiffin does it right, guys. This thing is made in its stability. Like I said, this coach is kind of unique. It has the six solar panels on the roof, 315,000 ACs and a 360 camera view, which I didn't know if I was going to like it, but guys, I flat love it. This is a must-see on our lot. It's, it, it's a granddaddy, but it's your home. It costs more than my home. 
10,000 watt generator, power window, adaptive, uh, not adaptive, but it's got the mobile avoidance collision center. You've got the lighted little eyebrows of brother lights and the tiffin lit up at night going down the road in the front. Now we're going to step inside, but I want to show you one more thing a lot of people overlook on this coach, or two more things. The steps on this thing, guys, these are sturdy. They're not going to be flimsy going in and out. The other thing I really like they've done, they put a little sliding door in. If you've got pets or anything, it's a great place to put your leashes, uh, poop bags, and if not, it's a great place for your gloves. When you go out to put diesel in your motorhome, you've got the gloves right there. You can put them on. It makes it extremely nice. I want you to come inside, and I want you to see your new house. As you can tell, I got Anthony in here because he's like me. You just can't get enough of this kind of a motorhome. You, you hit a nail on the head when you said house. This thing is incredible inside, absolutely incredible. It is from the flooring on this coach and everything, a heated tile floor. This coach has the wolf cooktop. I'm not that familiar with the cooking deals, but to, uh, my wife said it's kind of like the Viking of refrigerators. It's, it's really beautiful. Solid hardwood. And look what you get there, guys. Even your cabinet doors are soft close. This is the pure linen wood with the luster sheen finish. Look at that trim on the slide out. I mean, that is, that is amazing. The size of that crown rolling on, just on the slide out fascia. What do you think of the backsplash? It's called Art Deco. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Like, uh, it, it just it really brings a, a modern feel to, uh, you know, Tiffin's always had a very classic look to them. You know, they they don't get real fancy with their interiors, even though they're they're, they're super high quality. But that that backsplash just kind of modernizes the whole look. Oh, it really does. It just it just gives it a home feel, yeah, doesn't it? It does. Plus, uh, you got you the got giant the, window. Oh yeah, and then you got the two power recliners here with the lift up TV. Uh, you got the duct air conditioning. Three central zones, one duck. So you don't have to worry about anything. You can run one, two, or all three if you want to. All the windows in the front, all the way to the bedroom, are all power. The oh, bedroom wow. and the back are manual. So you can put, if you're out and it looks nice, you got your awnings out, you can just put the day shade down or you yeah. can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can set the ambience. Yeah. Another thing that I like about this coach is this comes with the Dynet computer workstation. And I've got this out because it all co also comes with two more folding chairs. So if you have four people, you can still sit around here and do it. That just pulls out. But to me, what makes this nice, especially in the COVID day and time, Anthony, where yeah. more people can work away from home. Yeah. It's, you don't it's have exactly to be there. It it's, like a, it's like a small desk. Yeah. You just take your computer with you. This pulls out. Put your laptop here. got a uh, drawer that slides out for a printer over here. And Anthony, right over there by you, the bottom one is a file cabinet. Pull it open so you guys can see. Yeah, it's your, it's your little, little mini home office. I mean, it just makes it so good. I mean, I know I've got neighbors and stuff that have kids, and they hadn't been, back, they hadn't been in school since. February of yeah. last year. Because it's, it's not a lot. It's not just working from home. It's schooling from home, too. Exactly. So, you know, there, what, what better way to teach your kids something to wake up and say, what we're reading about happened right outside You're exactly the window. Right. You're exactly right. Talking about history, you can just go see where the history happened. Exactly. And it's your home because this is a home. Uh, as you can walk back through it, you can tell even on the floor. Uh, this is what's called a sea salt floor. And this comes standard when you do the Art Deco, which we've got in here. You've got the dishwasher. One thing that makes this a little bit unique, we sh we've been showing you units. Oh, the key's on. <laughs> that you have the one slide-out pantry, right? Yep. That's what we looked at on the 44 fate and, and all that. I know what now you're going to Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Actually, I, I saw that a while ago, and I was kind of peeking over there. Now you got two. Yep. And it's not just this, guys. There is so much more to see on this motorhome uh, from the way that they've done their lighting in here with LED lights, with the way they've done their duct system, their floor. This is a heated tile floor. There again, it's not done with aqua hot. It's done with the heat pads. 
so you don't have water running through your floor and everything. And I think that's pretty big, Anthony. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I, you know, you mentioned it before in one of the other motorhomes that 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 could be a real problem if you get a leak in that in that in that plumbing running through your floor. I can't imagine what kind of mess it would take to to tear up your motorhome and fix it. And not just that time. How much time is it yeah. going to take to do it? And for a lot of people, they're, you know, if they're full time in this, like you said, this is their home. So it can't be in service for, for three months while we fix a, a, a plumbing problem. That's exactly what yeah. happens, and this makes it so good. But all this, when you get to the bus, it's solid hardwood. You know, it, they're not going to cheat you on this stuff. Your central vac, you got the kick plate plus the normal. Look at your uh, extra bath here. It's still got the ceramic tile. I noticed, I noticed that Art Deco uh, backsplash is in there, too. Yeah. Solid surface countertops all the way throughout. Uh, now you're, you still got the Maytag refrigerator, water and ice and everything in the door. You come back into your bedroom. You've got the fireplace. Lift up TV. The nice thing about the fireplace is, guys, you got to remember, it's an electric, fully electric unit. So if you don't want the fire on, you can still just blow heat out, and it acts as a heater. That you would... could shut that bad bedroom door, have this on, and heat this entire area without having to run anything else, and it's all electric. Really easy way to heat that area. Well, you know, with today, you pull into a campground, Anthony, and, and you've already paid for your spot. Yeah. So when you're sitting here using their electricity, it's a heck of a lot better than having to use propane and mm -hmm. a lot safer. Yep. Especially during the wintertime. Wintertime, if you've got propane in this motorhome and you're trying to camp in the wintertime, you are going to burn through that propane in cold weather in just a few days. Oh, yeah. This is, you got a 150 gallon of fuel. If you burn through that, yeah. you're doing a lot more things than running a little fireplace. <laughs> you get back in here to the bathroom. Once you take a look at the sinks, how they are, I've got the right, I can't think of the right word to call them. It's very unique, but I just flat love them. Yeah, they're, they're really beautiful. And the faucets, you know, the backsplash. And they carry that backsplash all the way up the wall. This is kind of, if you were going out home shopping, this is what you'd see in a high-end house. You, you go look at a custom home these days, this is exactly what it's going to look like. You step in here. The other ones, showers and stuff we've been looking at, this is a bigger, larger bathroom. And all this is, it's tile. you got a seat in there, too. Got the wooden seat. The other thing that really sets this one off for me is when you walk into this one in the closet. You've got a place for shoes to put in here, a shoe rack. Look at all the space we've got in here, guys. I can take everything out of the washer dryer. I can separate. I can put stuff over here to fold. I can put stuff over here to fold. I can start putting it up. I've got four drawers in here. Uh, not that I'm going to do it, but my wife would be back here doing all this stuff. <laughs> Uh, you've got extra plug-ins back here. I mean, you've got everything. They've got even air conditioning vents that are in the closet. And it's a full tile floor all the way to the back. And no hump. No we hump. were talking about that a while ago no, on the Power no, Glide no chassis because it's 13 foot 2 inches tall. You have no hump coming back here. There's also you know lots of space around this bed, too. I mean, I, if I'm going to make this bed, and I know this is something that people talk about all the time, I, I've got plenty of space back here to make it. I'm not crunched up next to the wall. I can reach up here towards the front. That's just a huge thing that a lot, a lot of people don't think about if they've never been in a motorhome before. Not they, until they own it. Yeah, then they think of they it when they come in. And, over everything to try to make the bed. Exactly. I don't know how many times I've had people come out that about their second motorhome, and they go, oh, we don't want one of those corner beds. Or, yeah. I can't get around it. My wife can't. And, you know, we can't just pull the bed down and do the mattress, or we have to go to a queen. You yeah. don't have to. Nope. Stay with the king. All the space in the world. The ceiling on this, guys, is second to none. The one thing I do want to show you on this, because it's really great, is their new spider system. I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you everything on it. But you got your home system. you got your master light control. There's your batteries. All three thermostats are controlled right there, and you're a aqua, aqua hot. That's your two rear slide outs. That's all your uh, day shades, master shades, everything there. There's your settings for fans. You can lock or unlock the bay doors from here. TV lifts right here. There's your settings that you can go in. Guys, the one thing I'll tell you about Vought RV, whenever you come and pick up your new home, you come to do your delivery, it's not going to be a deal where we look at a watch and say, okay, Mr. Customer, you were supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. Thank you for showing up on time. 
uh, you have one hour to learn your motorhome. We don't have a time frame. We're not punching a clock on you. If you need to take three hours to do your walkthrough, we're going to do three hours to do your walkthrough. We're not going to sit there and rush you out. We want you to feel the warm and fuzziness from buying from the Vought family. So it's carried all the way from sales through our delivery and into service. Uh, we've been around a long time. We're not going anywhere. And that's just our beliefs. We want everything. We The customer comes first. Without you, there is no us. So we're very hip, hip on that, Anthony. Per Don't you per agree? Perfect, perfectly said. Perfectly said. And I think Aaron talked about it earlier, too. You know, the, the customer is very important to us here at the dealership. Yeah, if there is no customers, I can't buy, buy any more of these awnings like I'm wearing right <laughs> here. So, I mean. <laughs> Don't act like you paid for that. Yeah. You Someone gave that to you They gave it to me. <laughs> They found it in the trash can. Yeah, they, they pay me $10 <laughs> a week to wear it. Uh, the other thing I did want to show you guys, there's one more thing up here because I mentioned it briefly a minute ago. Uh, this coach has what's called the JBL sound system with advanced monitor. There's a couple of things that are really important up front. Here's a monitor over here on the side. I've got it on. It's not on the clearest picture that I have. But your wife or whoever's sitting over here can do radios, navigation. There's so many things they can control off that without you having to do it right there. You also have a uh, power charging there. You can just lay your phone right there on top of it. It'll charge up. But here's the neat thing, guys. This coach has air level and hydraulic level. So you have both. You pull it to the racetrack or something, it's a little wet on the ground. You don't want to put your jacks down. Use your air level, and it'll level the coach. But what's cool, if I remember how to do this, I'll get to it right here. Now, we've got our protective stuff over the lens right now where it's not showing up again. But this is the 360 camera view. You can actually see all the way around your coach. If I had it the, the cleaned up, you can see the signs we have over here on the side. You could be outside. You can see people walking around. And there's different ways you can do it. There's different views on it, Anthony. It's yeah. really cool. It's, it's it amazing. Yeah, you see that on high-end cars these days. Yeah, I mean, that's just, there's so many features that Tiffin is doing on these motorhomes now. Uh, the technology is so great. And I keep thinking, well, hell, I'm 61 years old. I don't, you know. I'm, what? I need my Come son. On. There's no way you're 61. Yeah, I know. You think I'm Santa Claus. I'm <laughs> older than that. But uh, the technology, I just think, man, it's like I have to have my son to work, do stuff on my phone. But, guys, I'm telling you, it's super, super easy. And when you do your walkthrough, video the guy showing you everything. Then you'll have it as a come back through. But, guys, more than all, I want to thank everybody for coming out today or watching today on our uh, feeds. Invite you to call us. We've got great product, great people. There's nothing we'd like more than to have you as a customer and make you one of our family. And by saying that, I'm going to throw it back to Anthony. Well, guys, that's it. That is Vought RV and Tiffin Motorhome's first virtual rally. I, I sure hope you guys enjoyed it. I really want to thank all the presenters who, who took the time out today to come show you the product. We are super excited. Uh, don't forget, everyone who registered is going to get a chance to win a couple of beautiful camping chairs. All of our Tiffin owners, we're going, to, we're going to give you a chance to win one of those Ranger Solo stoves we showed you earlier. We'll announce those winners on Monday. We also have got that discount code at silverbulletboutique.com, Tiffin10. We'll do that through the weekend so you can go get you some great camping accessories. Most importantly, guys, like what like Ray said, if you saw a motorhome you love today, if it's if it's close, we we can we can order you whatever you want. We can get you whatever you want. We've got trained salespeople standing by right now. Please call. Let us make your Tiffin dream a reality. And thank you guys again for watching. For over 45 years, the families of Vaughn RV Center and Tiffin Motorhomes have partnered to bring you the best the RV world has to offer. From humble beginnings, Danny Vaught and his family grew their small RV company into the national staple you know today. And there was no better RV manufacturer to grow with than Tiffin Motorhomes. Danny Vaught began by selling truck campers next door to his dad's boat shop in Haltom City, Texas in the late 1960s. Although just a teenager, he used his father's philosophy of, you can't be right by doing wrong, and you can't be wrong by doing right a philosophy that still holds true today. Around the same time, a young man named Bob Tiffin 
took over the reins of his family's company that eventually became Tiffin Motorhomes. Mr. Tiffin's motorhome company quickly became synonymous with high quality and customer service. When Danny set out to find a motorhome to add to his small dealership, Bob's motorhomes were a perfect fit and a lifelong friendship was born. Even today, the two family-owned and family-operated businesses continue to offer value based on values. Combining luxury and the spirit of adventure, Tiffin Motorhomes has continually been one of the top selling motorhomes, not just at Vaught RV, but in the country. With Tiffin's excellence in quality and Vaught's commitment to customer service, you will be hard pressed to find a stronger partnership in the RV industry. So let us celebrate 45 years of excellence, and here's to many more.